Hello. Hello. Say hello to its boots. Say hello to YouTube. How many how many YouTubes do we have today? How many YouTubes? We have 47 YouTubes. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, noon, lunch time, everybody. It took us a few seconds to get logged on because Mr. Moore had to wash his hair. But we're here and we have a big list of trends for you. We've only got, now we've only got about six minutes to hang out because we were late to our own pre-stream party, but it looks like you guys were keeping yourselves entertained. Hello, Amber. Hello, Elena. Hello, Desiree. Susan lives for a day, but only for a day, not tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, Jacqueline. Hello, everybody. So we have been gathering trends that we've noticed, trends that um, we notice are dying, trends that we think we'll be making a comeback this year that were popular last year. So we're going to be going all over all of those uh, in about five minutes. Hello. Happy Friday. Hello. Hello. Man, I always get itchy nose when I hold her every time. I always get such itchy, itchy nose. All right, guys. So what's going on uh, next week that you guys need to take note of if you got my email today or if you're in the Handmade Alpha Facebook community, which if you're not, you definitely need to join. Both of those links are down below. But Next week's Q&A is going to be super special. We sat for what? About two hours uh, live with Anthony from Etsy Rank this week, chatting it up, trying to figure out what's going on with Etsy's new search algorithm. And we have some answers for you guys as to why um, Etsy Rank, as well as pretty much all other Etsy related search tools, um, including, you know, Marmalade and pretty much what's the other one, Etsy Gadget, why all of those are kind of not working as well as they used to, um, and how the new Etsy works. So it, it's not anything to really be freaked out about. Um, we as, uh, I guess, coaches and creators are more stressed out than you guys should be. Um, because it's harder for us to kind of teach to the people who don't know what SEO is. But since most of you have a grasp on how it used to be, it shouldn't be such a big deal yeah. for you guys. And basically the one thing that you should know right now is that keep doing what you have always done. Keep, yes. keep, you know, researching your keywords. What I taught in the SEO for newbies video that is still on my channel. It's still my most popular video. It's, it's still valid. It's we'll, still we'll, relevant. We'll, we'll explain uh, I know the biggest complaint that we were getting, and we talked with Anthony about this, and we'll, we'll get into this in a little bit, um, was about how pages, like it would show up that your page was, or that your product was showing up on page one or two or whatever, and then you'd go to look at it, and it would be on like page six or seven or something like that. So we'll, we'll, we'll touch on why that's happening and why you really shouldn't be too alarmed um, about that. And then again, uh, we'll, 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 t we'll touch more on that. Yeah, so that'll be next week, same time, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. It will be on Friday, as always. Um, and you guys will finally get to see the face of Anthony at Etsy Rank. So that's going to be super duper excited. He is super duper excited to hang out with you guys and to answer yeah. your questions. If you have questions, uh, maybe write them down ahead of time. That way you've got them for reference so Susan, you don't lose Susan them. Susan asked, why do you think sales are so low on Etsy? Because it's that time of year. Yeah, don't don't worry too much about sales being low on Etsy right now. It's that time of year. Uh, for us, sales drop between now and usually fall. We go through our slow period. For us, our biggest selling times. And for most people, the biggest selling times are, you know, starting around Halloween, then going through the holiday season and usually Valentine's Day. Uh, I know that last month was one of our best months or, you know, uh, between January and February. But right now, this is a good time to learn and to grow. I call this kind of the growth period where sales are going to slow down, but this is the time that you need to be using to prepare rather than fretting over why am I not making sales? The thing is, nobody's making sales the way that we do during the busy holiday season. What I mean, that, that's all got to be business dependent, but I mean, it's just around the gift holidays. Right. And the, the gift holidays are when the things are going to be at, the, at their highest. Right. And you know, I'm not freaking out about it. In fact, this is one of those things for newbie sellers. It's a little bit harder because especially if you start um, around that really busy season, it feels like you're doing 
doing something wrong. What am I doing? Why Etsy is dying. Etsy's not dying. We've been selling on Etsy for six people, years. People and, have been saying that every year since we've been on Etsy. Yeah. Every, around every every spring ish, people are like, "Oh, Etsy's dying. I'm not making any more sales. Time to move on." And yeah. it's not. It's simply not true. Right. And it, as you as you become kind of more experienced with selling, especially when you become a full time seller, you learn to kind of put money back. Um, and save money yeah. to get you through this period. That that's hard. It's hard to kind of ration out Especially your sales. Especially when you make like ten grand right before Christmas. You're like, wow, everybody's gonna get nice stuff. Yeah, you don't you, do that. <laughs> yeah, you have to ration that out. We've kind of we kind of know responsibilities. Yay! Yeah, exactly. It's it hard. Sucks, but it's hard at your first few months because you don't really or even your first few years selling because you don't really know what to expect. But as time goes on, you'll know what months are your best, what months are not so good. That way you can prepare to save, you yeah. can prepare to hold more sales, more events, and get you know more engaged with your community and dedicate more time to learning. This right now, this is why courses like HTU, which will be you know opening <laughs> soon, uh, big, huge, big fat bonus for you guys um, in terms of, those of you who want to join HTU this year, I've been talking to Renee. I'll have more issues or more issues, more details on that later. Uh, I don't want to say too much, but just stay active in the Facebook group and you'll get goodies. Okay. So we're just going to keep that hush hush for now. Another big event that's coming up on, let's see, I think it is, I don't know what day it'll actually be posted because I'm recording it on, or they are recording it on St. Patrick's Day, but I'm going to be doing a huge podcast. Uh, I'm being a, I'm guest starring on Etsy Conversations, which is one of Etsy's biggest uh, podcasts that they recommend to sellers. I got contacted by the, I'm assuming who runs Etsy Conversations, the woman who runs it, she asked me if I wanted to um, hop on the bandwagon for that. And I said, absolutely. So I will have links for that when it becomes available. For those of you who like podcasts, definitely go check out Etsy Conversations because so far it seems like a really, really get, uh, great resource and you can listen to some interviews from other big sellers. So we're going to talk about that. I might leak a little bit of information about Handmade Alpha Academy. Um, when, when I do that, because I know that she wants to know a lot about it. So we'll talk a little bit about that at that time. But other than that, guys, it is now Nuno one on our end. Let's see. What do we have? And Megan said, I like Ugh. to pay double on bills when their sales are good. So I'm ahead when things are thin. So we we'll, do that too. We, yeah. we just, well, we don't do exactly that. What I usually do is when we, we, when we get a payment, I'll pay our bills and I make sure I have enough in the account to pay the following month's bills after I pay the current bills. That way, if, if something were to happen, like a death in the family, you know, unexpected death in the family, something like that happens, companies are usually pretty forgiving on things. So if you say, you know, I had to spend all of my money because my, my dad died and I had to pay for his funeral and this, that and the other, usually you can get a break on a month. But I usually keep at least a month ahead. Right. Uh, saved up. And we've actually done that. We've had we've had occasions uh, back when we first started our business before we were at that point of sustainability where we had to call some of our companies, that, you know, and, and let them know that something crazy catastrophic happened. Maybe it was because we were young. I don't know. But we, we've experienced a lot of lenience with things like that. All right. So a lot of today's session is going to be uh, in screen capture mode. Um, which Etsy account are you logged into? Just probably yours. Probably mine. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So should I just log uh, out no. for safety? For safety? No, there's nothing that they can see. They'll just see as long that. As long as they don't go into your Etsy shop, we're fine. Yeah. I just I don't like I don't like everyone seeing how many sales I'm making because I think that it's people get to see the adult things you look at on Etsy. Oh, all the adult things, all the awful adult things. Here's the thing. A lot of the times I look at some of the alpha shops and it shows up in my recommended shops. Um and uh it's not that it's not that I don't want you guys to know who shops that I'm looking at, but I don't want anyone to think that I'm like biased or anything. You know, you know what I mean? I, I don't want anyone to think that I'm like favoring anyone or anything crazy like that. But when you guys post your shop links, I do occasionally uh, pop in and look at what you have going on. So that's anyway. All right. So let's talk about some of the obvious trends that we're seeing this year. Um, is everybody good? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much everybody's good. Uh, disclaimer, I abhor fashion trends, especially in the United States. They're terrible. None of them are good ever. 
That's his especially, opinion. Especially, no, that's a fact. <laughs> especially when you get into runway fashion. Oh, we're not talking if about you runway walk around fashion today. in runway fashion clothing. There's something wrong with you. Go, go on Google. Like you should open a new tab right now. Men's and women's. It's both bad. Google runway fashion 20, 2018. Whoever and thought taking like a clear strip of plastic, making a spiral with it, and then making the other spiral with a piece of fur. And then making some like gigantic 10 foot wide hat. That's stupid. <laughs> you dress like that and you you should go see a psychiatrist. Yeah, there are some crazy. I mean, the only person who even pulls that off is like Lady Gaga, but she does it to be crazy it's on ironic. purpose. ironic. Right. She's doing it to be crazy on purpose. I don't see people just yeah, walking it, around. If, if you do it unironically, <laughs> I'm, we'll, I'll stop there. Look at my beautiful hat. Oh, All right, guys. No, so. I'm burn your hat. Oh. Okay. Oh, by the way, we turned on a new filter sure. for anybody who says words, uh, naughty words and words like, for example, uh, we just had one hit for saying retarded. Those like, words are We're all not personally offended by pretty much anything that you could say, but it's not really about us. It's about everybody else. So just be, just be nice when you're in the comments right. and stuff just like that. I have to hold back all of my ridiculous cursing for these videos. You guys can do it too. Yeah, just be aware that your comments, won't, we can see them. It says hidden, but it was, we, you, you guys remember those spammers that came in and they were posting like the most atrocious, awful, disgusting things? Yeah, so we want to make sure that, not that any, most of you guys don't do that, but we do have like spam bots that pop in. It's with, not even a bad word. To you. No. To you, it's not a bad word. To, to, and to me, it's not a bad word. But to other people... Right. It is. It's we're, we're trying to be sensitive to the viewers. You never know who's in the audience. Right. So. And it's YouTube that censors it, not us. It's YouTube yeah. that's doing it. So, all right, guys, trends. Let's get back on topic here. Number one trend that we are all seeing right now. I'm sure you all know. Everyone's been posting about it nonstop. Llamas. So you want to go ahead and pull up Etsy real quick and just type in llamas. Let's look at what is trending in llamas right now. Um, one of the things that I'm noticing with llamas is- I'm just searching llama. Am I going to yeah. screen share? Yes. Just uh, head on over and- well, I won't be able to see your comments for a few minutes because I'm going to full screen and screen You don't share. need to do that. It, it, they can see a partial screen. Just oh, go ahead and enlarge it and because it's- They're going to see multiples of us. I forget how to do it. Right here. There we go. <laughs> I'm old. Old. 26 and window. Yeah, that's what you do. And then it'll show full screen. Okay, there we go. Oh, is it? Yes. Can you guys see it? Let us know if you can see it. All right, you can go ahead and full screen it real quick. I don't need to full screen it. All right, guys. So llamas are one of the biggest trends that we're seeing. Um, go ahead and scroll down. There was a really great shirt in particular that I saw that I feel like is just the definition of this llama trend. Keep scrolling down a little bit and watch it not be on page one anymore because the algorithm- I just searched different. llama. I didn't search yeah. llama clothing. Oh no, it, it showed on the first page for llama, but if we can't find it, it's no big deal. Anyway, guys, llamas are huge right now. This isn't something that everybody needs to jump on board with, but llamas are massive. Um, and if it doesn't fit your niche, obviously don't do it. Um, but if you create anything in the lines of fashion, anything uh, trendy, anything child related, kids clothing, uh, toys, things like that, llamas are huge right now. Spit so happens. Spit happens. That's hilarious. This stuff All is right. so basic. That's, God, people trying to be trendy and cute when we were doing it like 15 years ago. I think that, oh, you sound like an old person. So cute. How do you know top searches? Um, How do you know top searches? We're not doing top searches right now. We're not particularly doing We're doing like fashion trends and just trends in general. Trends of the year. So overall trends for 2018 that you can apply to your Etsy shop. That way you can be ahead of the game for, um, you know, the the spring and summer season. So the next thing is permades. And this what the hell is a permade? <laughs> type it in. They're cute. Permades are everywhere. It's little kitty cats with mermaid tails. Oh I'm my in, god. I'm in this. <laughs> Stop. I think I might be allergic to trends. Permades are everywhere right now. I think they're adorable. I don't care what you, Can you say. You guys go back to like poop and smiley emojis and just leave. 
Oh, we'll talk about poop emojis Leave later on. Leave other culture alone. I think they're adorable. Llama is the new pineapple. Yes, pineapples are still trending. We'll get it. Mark is dying. Everyone's just here to listen to my husband complain who, about how- who, it, who let BuzzFeed be in charge of current <laughs> trends? I swear. I think that they're cute. This is, this is some BuzzFeed level <laughs> stuff right here. All right. Next up, make sure that you're writing these down. <laughs> um, sloths. Sloths. Now, Yet another animal. You guys saw- Well, I did do a lot of animals. Animal trends because we should have just called this the dumbest cute Q &A no they're adorable <laughs> all right so um sloths are huge you guys saw our adorable sloth hat that we got from um oh man what was his name what was the name of that shop i can't remember the shop name it's in our video the last uh weird stuff we found on etsy video Close. oh look how cute the two-toed baby sloth that's so cute so this is a big theme we actually got our daughter a valentine's day sloth um at five below so it's it's definitely one that is uh making its rounds this year and i expect it to grow a lot with summer because there's so much that you can do with it you can make them colorful you can add flowers in i'm sure that we're going to see a sloth with a flower headband at some point um so we'll go ahead and move on to the next theme this is one that i've been seeing since winter time but with summer coming it's going to be bigger and it's cactuses particularly uh cactus patterns with flowers i'm noticing tons and tons yeah. of cactus decorations this one, this one legit Legitimately confuses me. I'm not really sure where this one came from. Well, succulents are still big, and I think that it's branching off of the succulents. Yeah, probably. Oh, like I, I like I get the dumb animals and all that kind of stuff. They're not I, dumb. Not not the trend itself is okay. dumb. Okay, I think it's um, cute. I don't know. I, I get the like taking a derpy animal and making it cute. I get that, but I don't understand like cactuses. What? I don't know. I, I like having a cactus is one thing, but having a pair of hand painted cacti succulents. Succulent Su shoes. Succulent spelled wrong shoes. Su succulent. Well, like, I, I just—it's confusing. I think some, is I think is the some there. people spell their keywords wrong on purpose when they know that a lot of people um, when succulent. they search them when they search them they spell them wrong and it yeah, makes go you to Google harder. and search succulent. Uh, no, let's not do that. That's a bad <laughs> idea. Don't do that. All right, next. Especially up. since it's got two C's. Yeah. Come on. Custom faces is the next one that I want to cover. Um. Go ahead and scroll up and uh, custom faces. Big faces. If you make any custom products, um, I would consider adding something into your shop that allows them to, yeah, see the giant custom faces. This is huge this year, and I. This is cringy. This, this is isn't. This isn't just bad. <laughs> this is cringy. I don't know about the doll faces, but mainly, like if somebody came to my party with a bunch of face cutout props, <laughs> I might be upset. Like this right here. <laughs> like she's just sitting here like oh my god i, think I hate it's, my family i think it's hilarious i love the big faces and the giant face pillows someone adopt this girl please. No, she she has money in her hand she can't be that they paid her they paid her to be happy oh yeah they had to <laughs> but anyway guys yeah the big custom faces i'm noticing them on pillows um they haven't really made as big rounds on etsy yet oh look a tattoo a, a custom Tattoo. The cat's tearing something up. Stop I don't doing. care. Let him tear it up. <laughs> but anyway, custom faces. That's one of the funny ones that I thought was hilarious. And I'm noticing it more and more this year. So Custom um, brides, but they put... <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, man. Okay. Next, All right. All right. men's grooming. Yeah, next is men's grooming. This has been kind of a hot topic for the last few Pretty years. hipsters out there that your dad's never taught them to shave. Here you go. Sweetheart, you own several of these products. No, you I don't. I own beard, beard oil, and I own this. Have you felt my beard? Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's like a wire brush. I have to have beard oil. I think uh, Starla should get a giant Mark face shower curtain to go with the mat. That's hilarious. I'm good. Uh, but yeah, the the really manly, earthy scents, the leathers, um, wooden shaving products, especially if you're actually taking everything, um, taking your photos to kind of appeal to that male yeah. audience. You can look at these photos and see exactly this, who these products this are This trend for. has been building up. I, I mean, it's, it's still going to be a trend for the next couple of years, but I, I see that. This one kind of dying off. Yeah, the, usually. The kind of like gentleman hipster look that everybody was going for. It's getting kind of old. People are getting kind of sick of it. That's not pubes. That's pubes, not a beard. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I have I have a pube beard. Um, yeah. But yeah, but... I, I see this trend dying off in a couple of years. I mean, you got to consider most guys are lazy. So they're only going to be able to do something like this as a hobby for so long before they get bored. Right. All right. So next one I hear, Slime. I hear a lot about it dying out, but I have a six year old 
And I know for sure that it is not dying out because all of the major kid YouTubers are doing it. Most of oh, these yeah. shops are owned by children, which I think is really cool. A lot of parents are letting their kids make and sell slime. If you have a kid who maybe wants to dive into the world of Etsy, slime is a really easy thing that they can Kathleen make and sell. metrosexual. No, not metrosexual. <laughs> That's, no, I'm talking about gentleman hipsters. There's a yeah. big difference. Um, lazy isn't sexy. Well, of course lazy isn't sexy, but... <laughs> Most guys don't care. Anyway, slime. <laughs> yeah, I think that I think that my husband's past the point of trying to be. I uh, like, man. I'm. We've been married how, eight how years. How old am I? Twenty six. I'm wait. almost twenty seven, man. Like I'm. So we're married. We've been married for almost eight years. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, she, so... if she doesn't like the way I look now. Then she's got it coming because she's got another like at least gazillion 20, years. At least twenty years with me Tw before I'm at it. Before I'm dead, you know. You get. I hope you don't die in twenty years. Uh, but <laughs> I'm a guy. I do stupid things. Oh, look at the slime shirt. That's so Pineapple cute. Pineapple breeze butter. T slime taylor would love that slime shirt so slime is really big right now um it's more popular with children obviously it's not like adults are sitting there you know playing with the slime but kids love this a lot of these shops are owned by children i've noticed a lot of parents getting their kids into like the etsy world by helping them open these slime shops taylor our daughter loves slime so that might be something interesting now now slime 2019 trend prediction hipster bearded sloths <laughs> I, yeah probably <laughs> um domestic platypus knows what i'm talking about but <laughs> You know, what's weird is slime doesn't bother me. Like this picture here with the strawberry pop tart stretchy slime doesn't bother me. And it doesn't bother me to play with it by myself. But I cringe so hard when I see other people just sinking their fingers into slime like that. Like all I can think about is how her fingernails are going to be all kind of gross when she pulls her hand up. And like I don't she... know why. Like it doesn't bother me to play with it. But watching other people do it just like grosses me out. I've avoided it because I think mess, mess everywhere, but maybe I'm wrong. No, yeah, we, you're very correct. Yeah, we have been picking slime out of our carpet for quite a while now. All right, so slime is a is an easy one. Let's move on to miniature food. Miniature food has been really big in the Kauai community. Miniature freaking everything, but honestly. Mi miniature food is making a huge appearance this year, especially jewelry with miniature food. Um, I noticed that even at Target, they're selling kits for kids to make miniature food charms. We have a couple alphas who make miniature food. Miniature puke in a bottle. <laughs> Vegemite. Oh, look how See who detailed. I with that one. The detailed toast is super cute. I like how detailed it is. But um, my, my thing with this is someone spent their time with like magnifying glasses on their face just meticulously I think it's crafting neat. an egg on toast. And I feel like that is some sort of psychotic disorder. Mark is a cynic. <laughs> Mark I, is I a am. I'm going to tear all of these trends apart. I, I told you. I don't, told you. Don't Actually, I, I think this is pretty cool because of the amount of time that it like, detail. like the amount of detail that this this has. I just don't understand. I don't have the patience for it. So ain't like awesome on you guys if you're able to do this kind of thing like this. All the little like black char spots in the sausage. And I think they're adorable. The bread folds like that's just. Oh, and look at the dollhouse food up here in the corner. Yeah, that is the, ridiculous. The detail, like. You're ruining the fun of crafting, please. <laughs> well, since you spelled my name wrong, I have to. Oh, yeah. It's Mark with a C, guys. <laughs> yeah. No, um, but for real, though, I, I, this takes a, this takes a lot of patience. And scroll I recommend down a anybody bit. that. I able to look at that burrito. This makes me hungry. I owe oh, the cake. I love the nah, cake. I ate so much biscuits and gravy for breakfast, dude. I tell you, I'm good. You're all Southern. All right, so we've got. Right. You can't. Don't make fun of my biscuits and gravy. My biscuits and gravy. <laughs> so miniature food. Let's do now. Let's do giant food. Giant food is the next one, and I'm noticing particularly burgers, fries, sushi, and sandwiches are huge. Right. Uh, try giant food pillow, um, or like, plush. Like this. Yeah, I would do pillow or plush. Giant yeah. food pillows are huge right now. Plushies, crochet. I think that these are really cute too. And this is the type of stuff that we would like put on our couch downstairs in yeah. our office. This this um, kind of random. Yeah, goofy. this kind of random stuff I'm okay with. The only thing that concerns me about this kind of stuff when I look at it like this, for instance, is where in the crap am I going to put that in my house where it's not going to be obtrusive? Like somebody that's into this is going to have so much of this stuff, they're not going to have anywhere to put it all. I think that, I mean, <laughs> if you were doing like your dorm room or something, I think it would be really cute. I like that giant crocheted popcorn. That's super cute. 
Like these kind of things are cute if you're like a teenager buying them for your girlfriend or something. I think these are right. These or are these are cute. If you have a kid yeah. or a teenager, yeah, a little you know. kiddo that's into the really cute stuff, or even a young young teen that's into the cute stuff. Right, and even in the big stores like uh, Five Below, Target, I'm seeing tons of these big my, food pillows. My favorites, the carrot. I like that carrot. I like its little face. All right, so and the next the, one, oh, the cactus. Uh, back on cactuses, I like that one. And a lot of the things that you're seeing here, the donuts. We'll talk about those later. Tacos. Those are all trending foods. So that's could, all things to take note of next to your guitar, <laughs> the giant, the giant carrot. That would be squishies. squishies. Now Who? this one I'm genuinely confused by. I feel like I should have our, oh, our American. daughter literally has that same squishy yeah. Fox. Um, so slow rise squishies. If you don't know what these are, they are literally foam toys. I guess that they put slow rise squishy because those will probably give you more. Um, these squishies are basically, well, maybe not Watch the slow rise. There we go. So, oh, our daughter has that hat or cat hamburger too. Hers I don't, is a little different than that. No, I don't know if this is something that you guys can apply to your handmade products. However, if you're making any type of packaged deal, um, I know that with Etsy, if you're including a product, a store bought product, along with things that you make handmade, it's perfectly okay. So I notice a lot of people make like gift packs for children, uh, gift baskets. This might be something to consider for them because squishies are the big thing this year. Our daughter is obsessed oh, yeah. with these squishies. They All the squishy foods, little squishy animals. Um, our daughter has most of the squishies that you see on screen because she's so obsessed with them. So that is a huge thing. Um, on top of that, um, I would do maybe like mystery toy. So mystery toys, if you make any type of soap that you could put a toy into any type of bath bombs, any type of, you know, just mystery item that you have to open or, um, find the prize inside. Those are huge right now. Our daughter is obsessed with these as well. And I see a lot of adults who are obsessed with them getting, um, what's the company that does the, the rings inside the bath bombs? Have you seen those? There's or? a bunch of them. Yeah. Now. The, I don't remember what the original company was, but there's a bunch of copycat companies doing it now too. Yeah. Yeah, so if you make soap, bath bombs, things like that, um, I Holy would definitely crap, consider. Crap, this thing is creepy. I have no idea what I like it. I would put that on my shelf. Favorite that item. I like their whole shop. Favorite that item, and then move on. This that is way. terrifying. <laughs> I like it. I think he's cool. It reminds me of a uh, labyrinth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, thank you. Favorite that shop. I want to look at more of their stuff. But anyway, guys. Why did I, I closed our freaking video? <laughs> uh, oh, well. oh, well, we don't need it anyway. Free publicity for that shop. But anyway, guys, yeah, the, the mystery toys, anything that you can hide. If you make slime, hiding maybe a toy inside it, that is huge. Yes, the LOL surprise dolls. Our daughter is obsessed with those. Oh, man. And so. it's funny is that like, we don't know how half of the stuff works, but, but like, she does because we like before we even get a chance to open it up and read it. She's just like, no, you just do this. Is this yeah. what happens when Kinder Surprise gets banned? Kinder's um, kind of making a bit of a return. Yeah, Kinder eggs are actually coming back in the U.S. They, they just, figured out how to do it without getting in trouble. Like, they, they found a workaround. Right. And I don't think that they put toys in them. I'm not sure, though. They I think do, it, but it's not. Um, it's, it's like a toy in an eggshell now right. instead of, and then the eggshell is chocolate coated. All right. Uh, reversible so reversible sequins, reversible sequins made a, made their start this year. Um, squin, squin, you know, oddly enough, this actually sets off like my, my touch cringe that I have. Yeah. Um, my husband, he can't touch certain things. He has, he can't touch those holographic cards and sequins. And um, he has a bunch of textures that he can't handle. It legitimately touching. makes me feel like I'm having a seizure. Like I, my whole body locks up and it makes me shake and my muscles. Which is unfortunate convulse. because our daughter absolutely loves these reversible sequins. And now I can touch these just fine. It's the appearance because it looks like this, the scratchy cards. Right. It looks like that, but it's the, it's just the appearance. But you can see clothing made with them, hair ties, oh, yeah. purses, everything. So if you're. If I think they're neat. For yeah, sure. they're they're definitely different. It's not like anything that we had ever seen before when they first came out. Um, so I thought that it was pretty interesting. And you can actually uh, go ahead and you can. What am I saying? You can buy this fabric uh, pretty much at any fabric store. I've seen oh, yeah. it a lot. So sorry, I was reading while I was trying to talk and it didn't work out very well. Here we go. <laughs> We should show them our little uh, placard that I got for you. Are you going to put some of these in some links for us later? We 
We're just searching on Etsy. All, right. the, all the terms that we're doing, I'm just searching up here in the top box. Right. You guys could either take notes or maybe I can add on to the video and put all these in a list afterwards, make a list yeah. in the in the video description. Yeah, so um, for the replay, we'll go ahead and add this list in the video description. It'll take us a little while. So just be patient once, once it's over. Right. All right. So next one is Blobfish. I don't know why. But blobfish, because that's trendy. blobfish are huge because they're my little blobito. But <laughs> blobfish are just so ugly this. that they're hilarious. Did you mean blowfish? No, we meant blobfish. Blob are zodiac signs a trend? God, I hope not. Um, zodiac signs. I think that they're always a trend for certain niches. That zodiac yeah. signs don't really go out of style. Uh, this is year of the dog though, so um, if you're looking at the Chinese zodiac, that might be something dog to consider. Dogfish makes me want to blow my nose. Yeah. I didn't until you said that. Yeah, dog or blo dogfish, blobfish. I've I've been seeing them everywhere. They're slowly making that appearance. It's one of those more taboo, like trendy things. It's not going to fit into all shops, but it's still weird. So this is one of those things that people in their mid twenties like because their teenage kid got into it. I like it. I think. I that, don't know. I think that the blobfish. I, I won't are cute. talk about zodiac trends. My opinion on those. I I'm kind of, I like the Zodiac trends, Next. but I like my Zodiac. So Next. Flamingos. Oh, God. I'm a Pisces. My birthday's coming up on the 28th, so that's Back cool. to the 90s with flamingos. All right. Is the grumpy cat for fishes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. All right. Fl flamingos, basically neon tropical. All of that neon tropical stuff that used to be big, like in the 90s, that your grandma used to like, or maybe still likes. My grandma still does. Um, that's all coming back in very, very, uh, huge this year. Like all, all these colors that you see down hover over this, all of these colors are really big. These pastels, these tropical pastels, the palm trees. Um, so my birthday is on the 27th. That's awesome. I, this is another one I don't get. What flamingos? I don't know. They've they disappeared for a long time, but then they all y'all that like flamingos. Have you ever been around a flamingo? They stink. Well, yeah, but they're I'm gross. So do sloths. Cat I, I've never been around a sloth that stinks. I'm sure you've never been around a sloth, <laughs> Mr. Cynic. All right, next up to go along with flamingos is palm leaves. This I would just do palm leaf pattern. Um, I'll just do palm leaf. Palm leaves are huge. You can already see swimsuits with it. Um, all of these patterns, these bright colors, this goes right along with that tropical thing that we're all seeing everywhere right now. So this is something that you could pretty much apply to anything. Um, and I've been seeing it a lot in stores too. Lots of wall art with these patterns, clothing, things like that. I didn't even know about this one. Why? What palm leaves? Why palm leaves? It's not even like a pretty leaf. Um, just the tropical thing, I think. Well, oh. here's the thing. I mean, I, I guess I, that makes sense. And um, also like the the Hawaiian shirts, like the men's Hawaiian shirts, those are coming back. Like teenagers are wearing all oh, that funky gross. stuff that like your dad wore at the barbecue. They're gonna, they're gonna smoke black and milds and walk down the street drunk too with, with their little with fedora. Their Hawaiian shirts and fedoras. Yeah. It's not even like a real fedora. It's like the dad fedora. Yeah, palm leaves. I, <clears throat> this one doesn't upset me. I just le legitimately don't understand why. <laughs> like maybe the tropical thing, but I, I. I'm okay with that, know. especially like, okay, this watercolor tropical forests down here. You want to hover over this one? Um, this, this whole color scheme with the watercolor painting and the palm leaves is huge right now, especially yeah. if you do graphic design. As a matter of fact, there's even a video game designer that just made a game where the art was all done in like pastel watercolors. Yeah, yeah it's that's, huge That's right really now. big this year. Um, is there a bit of danger in following trends? Yes and no. Sometimes, here's the thing. If you make your whole product line revolve around trends, um, and that trend dies and you have no backup plan or you're not constantly making new products that follow, follow upcoming trends. trends. Yeah. Right. But there are some trends that don't <clears throat> die. For example, yeah. I'm not covering dragons today because dragons are always big in my niche. Because but, it's a niche. But it's my niche. So you have to make these trends apply to your niche. If you know that your fans aren't going to like it, for example, my husband's niche, he's into gaming and you know nerdy stuff. He is not into any of these trends. Most of my fans aren't into these trends. But you have to, we're doing like the big overall trends Crystal that you're going to be said, seeing in okay shops. great so retirement home is in <laughs> thank yeah. you kind of yeah sort of 
No, but so, if, if you're going to do a shop that specifically revolves around trends, you have to be willing to accept the fact that sometimes you're going to you're going to make a loss. Yeah. And we're going to cover trends that have died, too. Yeah. Um, like if, if you fill your shop with something that's a trend here, set your thing on that so you're yeah. not putting around my desk. I'm sorry. If you if you follow trends, <laughs> sometimes the trends aren't going to be as big as you think and you might hit the wrong trend at the wrong time. So just keep that. Just keep that in mind. You might end up taking a loss every now and again. All right. But if you aren't trendy at all, then don't follow trends. Yeah, you don't. I trends mean, are stupid. Be like me. I hate, mean, hate trends. I've seen a couple comments of people here and here don't like trends. Yeah, uh, it just depends on what the trend is. For example, my jewelry, I wouldn't be able to pull off a, a pineapple necklace, but I could pull off a llama. So you just have to kind of make these work for you. That's why we have so many to talk about. I'm giving you guys a huge list. So also trending this year is pineapples. They are huge. In fact, I think I used a pineapple in the picture to advertise this Q and A session. I'm seeing pineapples everywhere where not just yellow pineapples, but rainbow pineapples. This goes along with the tropical thing with the watercolor. Um, I see a lot of gold pineapples. So that might be something to think about. Yeah. We should switch back to tropical. That's so cute. So we'll go ahead and move on from that one because that was such an easy one. Next thing, a lot of foods are trending right now, but especially what I'm seeing the most is donuts. Donuts are huge this year for some reason. I think that they're cute, but it's, it's just kind of weird that they're popping up everywhere this year and i mean we saw them a lot last year too but i feel pineapple like apple on pizza is bomb no it's not <laughs> you're, that's domestic terrorism you're you're scaring him you're scaring you're scaring mark away i call the swat team <laughs> so yeah donuts are huge we're seeing a lot of donut pillows everywhere yeah i'm seeing quite a bit of that and pineapple clothing? and cottage cheese pineapple i just i don't understand fruit and cottage cheese quit it donuts so um, all right donuts for donuts so so next up, this one was this was an easy self-explanatory. Toppers. Yeah, for like weddings. A lot of people do donuts instead of wedding cakes because it's easier. I keep forgetting that you guys can't see my facial expressions. It's probably a good thing. He's 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 shaking. What his is head a away. shungite donut? I think it's like the to make a necklace with. Like it's not actually a donut, it's just the name of the pendant. Just All trying right. to trigger you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so next up. I'm not up, triggered. You don't you don't want to see me triggered. Next up, no, you don't. Next up is hedgehogs. This one is huge right now. It has been for a Uganda while. Uganda Knuckles. That meme is dead. Don't. Look at that. <laughs> Anthony, My name. With no H. Oh. Wow. We should get it for you, but keep the three on it. See, the thing is, is it's it's Sonic, not Sanic, so I don't care. <laughs> so scroll down to actual hedgehog creatures. Will you stop it? <laughs> You're getting off topic. <laughs> <laughs> all I don't right i know who that is but they get a favorite shop oh look at that little hedgehogs we love hedgehogs we want to adopt one they were actually illegal to adopt um in california the way people know <laughs> babe they know people know the way okay, uh, anyway. oh i really like the little needle felt one yeah hedgehogs are huge this year um so that might be one Let's see. Pineapples were in five years ago. Aren't they on their way out? Or are they making a comeback? They're making a comeback. Trends, trends will always kind of circle back around. Yeah. And we'll be talking a lot like, more. Like a lot of the stuff that we're going to talk about was popular in like the 90s. So. Right. 90s, 90s is, is a, a huge... big thing right now. I'm a Twitch streamer. It's unavoidable. Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. So. Uh, it's a dead meme though. It needs to stay where it is. Hedgehogs yeah. St hedgehog stink. Yeah, they do. They do stink a little bit. Yeah. Mo well, I mean, most small pets. Oh stink. no. No, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one because we have a whole lot. Yeah, we do. We have quite a few. Well, we don't have that many more in this category. Right. All right. So next up is fruit slices, fruit sliced everything. I talked about this in one of my uh, first videos that I ever made. It's really cringy and awful and the recording is bad. Um, but fruit slices were big last summer. I already see them making a comeback. So this is one to think about for summertime. Um, I saw a lot of uh, cushions and purses and coasters and print patterns with these fruit slices. Uh, so I can already see that it's going to be huge for summer. Again, this is one of those trends that I think is probably going to come back for a few years because colors, the bright, you know, colorful neon theme is really big and it always is big for summer. So that might be one to consider. Um, all right. So next up, do, do, do. Right. Next up is whales, and it's not just whales. It's kind of how you present the whale. So it's <coughs> it's the very iconic, uh, for example, these cookies where it's just a very basic whale. 
um, the more traditional storybook whales. I think that that's what's more trending, not a specific type of whale, not like specifically humpback whales. Um, and narwhals are big too, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But I noticed that whales are a huge nursery theme this year for yeah, for definitely. boys and girls. It's a neutral theme. So if you make any type of children's products, party invitations, things like that, whales are going to be really, really big what this year. What are they even going for? I think your swale. I think your swale. I think it's cute. I can't think what just came in. I can't say what I just came into my head. Your swale. I think your swale. All right. So whales are a big one. And then next up kind of goes right back along. No, with... we got we to gotta spell it wrong. No, spell it right. <laughs> Suck. Succulents. Oh, you got a bunch of results. Succulents. Are... All right. Auto corrected. Oh, okay. Succulents have been huge. In fact, we have a bunch of artificial succulents on both of our desks. This isn't one that I think is going to die out. It was big. Um, oh, look, scroll down. Is that from? You want to see how you can spot a nerd? What? Oh. Instead of just putting succulent. The full, the full actual. Nerd. Way. I'm actually all about that. Yeah. Keep, keep your brain going. We we love all of the the succulents and the greenery and stuff. We've got a bunch of them. So that's I it. I just like plants. Yeah. It, I, li I like them. I think that they're pretty. I would like to have a succulent garden. But you said these have been big for a long time. Yeah, Yes, but we're talking more about like a trendy thing, of not just like having a plant, but actually being a trend. Right. Painting it on things <clears throat> and um, prints and things like that. So, um, all right. Let's see here. Oh, I'm also seeing a lot of uh, jewelry with the air ferns, you know, like actual living jewelry. That's really big this year too. I signed up for a monthly succulent box. That's really cool because they know that in, in a month I'll have killed one. <laughs> so that I, I killed all my succulents last Henry year. Henry said, I'm a plant nerd. I actually, I don't know if that, uh, you didn't hear me, but I, I'm actually all about that. Like if you're, if you're able to keep plants alive, like keep doing your thing. Yeah. We, I mean, we're, I'm, I'm all about that. Nature. We are, we are huge gardeners. <laughs> like our back lot last year was all zucchinis because our zucchinis choked as much out as all we could our, be. <laughs> right. Our zucchinis choked everything else out. And then we but, had like three solid days of rain when a small patch of grass had started moving into our garden. And then within the, by the time that three days of rain was over our literally our entire, like, 15 by 15 by 10 garden was just grass like it, it, right. there was lost nothing we could do about it all right so eyelashes particularly just this pattern painted on things like this mug right here um it's huge you can see it on the phone case if you make any type of beauty products things like that i know that um these cute little eyelashes are really really big right now i'm seeing them everywhere so all this makes me think is can i speak to the manager i think they're but anyway cute. i think they're cute all right, next up, big one, animal morphs. So I wouldn't type in animal morphs because you're not going to get anything. But try llama unicorn. Um, a lot of, like, the 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 permaid, llama unicorns. I've seen pupper. The llama corn. I've seen puppy corns. I've seen a, a koi which was a koi fish and a corgi. Basically, they're taking some of the biggest trending animals and combining them together. So you could honestly think of any of the animals that are trending and try to combine them and it would probably fit in right now all hey, of bro, these little almost at 200 viewers Woo! so i i it's cute it's kind of weird some of them are weird <laughs> but <laughs> but anyway all right this this is an easy one it's going to take a lot of thought but I, the main ones that i'm seeing are llama corns the permades and i've seen puppy corns too um all did, right so did you misspell narwhals, narwh narwhals? Nar, I thought it was like narwhal, like you spell it like nar wall. You can spell it like whale too. No, you can't. It's narwhal. Well, I added an e at the end. Narwhals have been big for a while. This yes, is they have. this is one of those themes. Oh, I like the mug. I think it's just one of those things where people forgot that they existed, and then they're like, "Oh wait." Yeah, narwhals exist. So I think that they're cute. I think they're super duper cute. I ooh, I like that mug down here. This pottery. That's cute. I do like that one. Um, so that's that's another easy one that you're probably going to see a lot. It's been big for a while. It's not as big as it was, but it's still trending. Narwhals. That's so cute. 
All right. So next up is big glasses, big glasses on things, big glasses that you're literally wearing, just big glasses. The I'm, you know, we're thinking like 70s and 80s style glasses. We follow like this. Yeah. We're, oh, it's so ugly. We're Stop. Oh, come on. I have a pair of big glasses. Stop. No, you have a pair of hipster glasses. You don't have these like, I'm big too good for the sunlight glasses. I can't wear sunglasses, but if I did, I would need giant sunglasses. But anyway, big glasses are huge. Not just sunglasses, but actual glasses. And this frame design right here where the, it comes back, I abhor this. The big goggle glasses? Where it's like safety glasses, but not really. They remind me. Who's Stop that? it with that. The, um, from Harry Potter. The... the What's her name? Darn it. What the one from Harry Potter with the big with big glasses and big eyes. Somebody type it in the comments. Oh, I'm nowhere near my limit. Don't worry about it. But yeah, the the 80s glasses. Yeah, 70s and uh, 80s big giant glasses. Even I scroll down a little bit. Like these glasses right here, um just I'm assuming that that's some type of big uh sign, but that I actually, love good. Yes. That those glasses are are crazy. Steampunk glasses. Well, steampunk is its own niche. Steampunk isn't really gonna die. It's not as big as it used to be, but because it's its BCGs own niche. BCGs from yep. Birth control glasses. Exactly <laughs> it. Women are wearing them now too. Yeah. All right. So big glasses. <clears throat> Moving on to a fabric that ha I thought was gone forever. And honestly, I'm not a fan of it. It's crushed velvet. And I don't know why crushed velvet is making a comeback. I'm sorry if you like crushed velvet. I've always thought that the material is just awful. Oh, we're getting some booties in this one. Yeah. Just don't mind the booties. But like, for example, this, uh, this dress oh, it makes me uncomfortable. I don't like <clears throat> crushed velvet. I it never makes have. me sweaty. Like thinking about it makes me sweaty. I, I don't know why it's coming back so much. I know that it used to be huge. Um, Does, do you want any of your body sweat to, to come off of your body? I'm no? Not, Wear I'm, crushed velvet. I'm Ugh. not a huge fan of it. I, I don't like the texture of it. I do love crushed velvet. I You know, I've seen some really, like those mm. uh, medieval style dresses that are made in crushed velvet. Yeah. Those are pretty. If it's, if it's good material, like the cheap material, like I was saying. That cheap crushed velvet that you buy like in bulk. Make sure that you're yeah, using that, real. That, that kind of stuff, like you put it on and like it doesn't wick any of the sweat off of your body at all. You're just like a sweaty soup inside of your clothes. Crushed like, velvet curtains. Crushed velvet curtains. <clears throat> we we have um burgundy crushed velvet curtains and it's and that's okay. I'm okay with those, but I don't know. I think it's a texture thing. He and I both have issues with yeah, textures. Yeah, it's, it's a texture thing for sure. All right, so next up, vintage patches. I would just type in patches, honestly. Iron-on patches, all of that 90s cool. stuff. Especially, we'll be going over these pastel hats because those are huge right now. But covering jackets with patches right now is huge. Everything it's, 90s. 90s is making it This huge. particular trend is like dad at the beach. Stop. Da well, it's like... Dad H at the beach. It's like H3H3. It H3. Look at this. It's like, like all the trends in one. It is. He's he's super trendy. I like uh, I like the pizza down here in in that big. Excuse pack. the language. Yeah, don't mind the don't mind the here here. Here's the thing. We're searching all of this Q and A gone sexual. Yeah, we're searching all of this for the first time. Don't so if you see one. anything weird, blame the shops, not us. But yeah, patches on everything is massive right now. Um. All right, so. Uh, next up is books and anything nerdy. I would just type in bookworm, honestly. I actually made a key called the bookworm key because books are so huge right now. Um, and I, I love it because I think that we hit a stage of technology there for a long time where everything cool had to be technology related. And now books and themes like that are really, really coming back into play. And so, Miss Plastic Monkey said, I was not trendy in the 90s. I was too much into Manson and Slipknot. Me too. too. <laughs> That's one too. thing that I was talking about. All the rappers are starting to wear trip pants and stuff and everybody's starting to think it's cool. And I'm like, oh, you, no. guys are, you guys are hypocrites because you were making fun of us in the 90s and 2000s. And now you're like, oh, we discovered these really cool, comfortable pants. Like, no, yeah, you get out of here. <laughs> but books in general are really, yeah. really big right now. Reading. Having Right, exactly. It's making a comeback, which is great because I think that that's one thing that we need more of in the world. You yeah. guys know that I am a huge bookworm. Ooh, People I love need that something ring. to do while their partners are playing video games. Yeah. <sighs> Don't you know it? <laughs> <laughs> Shut but up. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, next up that kind of goes along with this book kind of vintage theme is maps, especially in home decor. Map. Map. 
the and really simple maps um and you know actual geographical maps are huge map patterns maps on clothing maps on wall prints it, it's all really big right now i noticed that a lot of our handmade alphas sell things with maps um i think that push it's pin travel world map yeah that's really cool where you put in the push pin on all the places that you've traveled so you can you know i, I think that it's neat that's a, that's a very 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 niche product I, well, that particular one definitely. Like, is. how many people do you know have been to more than like two countries? Well, maybe really? like a bit. It would be cool, like for a business person to put in their office. Right. I think that that. Would I be think really if you're neat. in Europe, you probably visit a lot more countries than what we do because it takes a long time to get to other countries. But I know in Europe, like the time it takes us to drive from one state to another would be the same time it takes you to drive through a whole country. Right. I remember being bad and listening to ICP. He still listens to ICP. No, I don't. Oh well, you listened to it. Twisted. You listened to Twisted. I think it's like the same thing. I don't like any of it. It's all about that tech nine though. Not my, not my thing. All right. So let's talk about nineties comebacks. I would just type in nineties fashion. Nineties stuff is huge right now. We were nineties babies. Um, I was born in 1992. So a lot of this was big, you know, when I was little. Tommy Hilfiger. There you go. Woo! All the clothes that my grandma, grandma Moore bought for me that I never wore. You did too. You wore some of them when we got together. Oh, no, pajamas. Like pajamas. Yeah, yeah you wore it all. Comfortable. You wore it all as pajamas. He was too cool to wear Tommy Hilfiger. This isn't really a good uh, example of '90s fashion. This is people like selling their vintage '90s clothes. But anyway, Furbies, old game systems, things God, like that. Overalls, y'all, ladies. Let me tell you something real quick. <laughs> y'all, ladies, stop with the overalls, please <laughs> stop. Uh, Wait. That's your phone ringing. Oh, my God. Somebody's calling me. Anyway, I'll be right back. Stop wearing overalls. All right. He's not into the overall. Actually, our daughter, who is six now, I think that she looked adorable in overalls. I put her in them all the time. It's just us now. Now we can do a moment of positivity while he goes and answers the phone. Anyway, guys, uh, 90s, all of the patches, all of the themes that were big in the 90s, Furbies, all that craziness, it's all huge right now. My mom just bought my daughter two vintage Furbies off eBay, if that tells you anything. Um, and my daughter is six. So what's up? Are you back? I missed it. It was restricted. Oh, uh, well, then they didn't. Probably someone who doesn't speak English trying to sell me health insurance. That's usually what it is. Yep. Not that we, not that we're upset by someone who doesn't speak English. We just don't like when we get a phone call in the middle of our live stream trying our to buy health. Our aren't about men. Health insurance that we don't want. Exactly. All Doesn't right. mean it's not ugly. Let's see. I I I don't know. Overalls to me, they seem like something that would be effective for uh, farmers. For farmers. they'd be effective for farmers, right? I, I don't know because they can't get them off themselves. Well, that makes sense. I'm not talking about two and three year olds. <laughs> I'm talking about like midlife said, crisis moms in their forties. I said that. Um, I said that they look good on like kids. So I'm gonna turn my volume off here. My bandmates are going nuts. Right. Furbies are vintage now. Head desk. I know Lisa, right? I was, <sighs> I, man, that's like watching. What is, what is that old cartoon network? Boomerang. Boomerang. And how like some of our cartoons are on there now. Like, yeah. Ugh. So, um, vintage hardware. This isn't really a good no. example. Um, I'm thinking more of like hardware in home decor, old pipe. Uh, you know, okay, here we go. This is a little bit better. So old hardware is Mid making a huge comeback <laughs> right now. Midlife crisis. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can tell that he's, he ca calls himself old and he's 26. Come on now. How many, how many of our alphas are under the age of 26? I bet there's about six of them. So, hey man, I, I've, been hey man. The, I've been in the military. And he's, I'm seen, he's seen, he's seen, I'm things. basically crippled. So, he's seen things. He's done with everybody. Hey, my doctor said I'd be in a wheelchair by 50. I, I can consider myself old now. Okay. Let's do um, All the music from my younger years on the oldies radio station. Same. Same. Here we go. This is a little bit more like it. So this grungy hardware, like the lights, the the pipe lights, things like this. This is actually just a perfect example. Um, any of y'all think I'm not actually making fun of any of you? He is just on a tyrant here being goofy. Yeah. So don't think that we're actually calling anyone out. We're just being silly. But anyway, this old hardware is really in right now, especially if you are... Um, 
you know, doing the vintage I have thing. Blue jeans that are older than you. <laughs> I mean, I can't feel old. Yeah, he's he's got uh, quite a few issues after the military. And I've been but... a bodybuilder. My body's been through a lot. <laughs> yeah. So um, the rough hardware, the Edison bulbs, that is all huge right now. Let's go into watercolor floral because I feel like that watercolor floral in particular. Um, because watercolor art has been big for the last two years, but now it's going uh, deeper into the floral patterns. If you want to scroll down, this is big for our stationary guys. Most of you already know this, but if you make any type of invitation, stationary, things like that, you can even see um, a bed set down here, some children's clothing. This whole watercolor floral thing has been huge for quite a while. I, I think that it's really pretty and it's really universal. So, um, Cats, will you calm down? The cats are just going crazy. They now, this is one thing, too, that I was... I don't know if you put this down on your list later for, like, clothing, but clothing is really big. Like, we, we went to Target <clears throat> specifically, and floral patterns were just on dresses. Every dress. Uh, like, every dress. If it wasn't a gray or a blue, it was some kind of floral pattern or a stripe. Right. I personally don't like floral patterns. I just think it's, like, too much to look at when you're wearing it. It's like it, it makes your shape too complicated. I don't know. So another one that I'm seeing a lot of right now is two-tone tie-dye. I'm not talking about the tie-dye that has every color in the rainbow. I'm talking about tie-dye that's just two, two colors. If I just yeah. type in tie-dye by itself, maybe that's better. Two-tone probably wasn't the best keyword to use. But the tie-dye that I'm seeing a lot of now, for example, this one, it, it's focusing around one color in particular. I'm seeing a lot less of this crazy rainbow tie dye yeah, and more, it's more like two to four colors right that are that are very color specific or um you know just not rainbow tie dye i feel like rainbow tie dye it's it's still a niche thing but yeah, everyone sure. everyone wears the two-tone tie dye now i even have a two-tone tie dye shirt <laughs> that i wear quite frequently so that would be a good way if you don't want to appeal to just like the hippie crowd who might only want the the rainbow tie-dye if you want to branch out to just the average teenager who maybe not be you know may not be in that crowd um going with the two-tone look or the like more you said monochromatic yeah yeah just you know going a little bit uh more more neutral with the tie-dye i guess is what i'm trying to say so that is one that i'm seeing a lot and almost like washed out tie-dye like faded tie-dye if that makes sense um so i'm a trippy hippie 60s kid but i don't like tie-dye nothing wrong with that tie-dye tie-dye like she said it's still a bit of a niche thing right so um tie -dye, i don't think it'll ever go away this is one that I think everybody who's been to Target has seen. This pom-pom decor is everywhere. Lining curtains, lining pillows, li lining uh, bed sets, uh, tassels, things for children's bedrooms. Pom-poms are really, really big right now. And the good thing about pom-pom decor is it's super easy to make if it fits within your niche. So. Just one less thing your kid can put in its mouth and hurt itself with, I think is why it's popular. Well. You got kids eating Tide Pods over here. You gotta do something to make it safe. Yeah, just a disclaimer, guys. <laughs> Just because something is trending in the media doesn't mean it's a good idea. So I don't recommend anybody making like Tide Pod products. I know that a lot of people are yeah, doing that. Yeah, that meme has already died off. So stop if you're thinking about it now. Yeah, if it, it would have been a funny bath bomb thing though, for sure. Uh, oh, no, it wouldn't have. That's a, that's a terrible idea. No, I mean like a shaped one. Like make right. it shaped, but put the plastic, the melting plastic on the outside of it. I think it's a terrible idea. Why? <laughs> So next up, I call these little guys mud puppies. What are they called? Axolotl. Axolotl. I I call them mud puppies. It's um, like when you're like hawking a loogie. Axolotl. <laughs> And hey, it kind of looks like it too. No, I think that they're super cute. And a lot of people, I know like four <laughs> people. My two-year-old popped mini pom-poms up her nose so bad and tricky to remove. <laughs> yeah. Oh, funny story. Here's a terrible story about Starla that nobody knows. In fact, I can't, I don't even know if you know this. I had to go to the emergency room when I was about three years old because I shoved so many watermelon seeds up my nose and my dad couldn't get them out. And my mom was at work. Was it so, Taylor that was doing the thing with the blanket, shoving all the fuzzies up her nose? No, that was Cora. Yeah, that was Cora. That was my your little, my sister. little sister, when she was a baby, she would just, she had one of those like oh. fuzzy fleece blankets. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's Star Wars. I would I would add this in uh I would put this on our wall for Ew, our shop. I think no. I think that it's it's creepy, but it's like in it's our stuff. Cute. I think it's cute. I like these little charms. Kids do weird stuff. Adults do weirder stuff, like eat Tide Pods. 
So this is another one of those obscure animals. All the weird animals are trending right now. I call them mud puppies. Uh, you don't get a lot of results on Etsy when you search mud puppy. So axolotl. All right. My sound went out. What are these? Axolotl. Axolotl. They said my sound went out, so doing that's not going to help much. Axolotl. <laughs> pastel goth. No, pastel. That's the first search term when you turn search oh, pastel. Yeah, pastel. I shoved a bean up my nose and had chronic cold because it was sprouting. Ew, holy crap. Ooh. Um, pastel baseball hats. Dad for, at the beach. For some reason, these are huge right See, look now. look at that. Daddy. Dad at the beach. That's I, what these hats are I don't called. think that that's what that. Dad I, at the beach. I don't think that's what that means. Dad at the beach. I, I don't think that's what that means. That <laughs> we'll just pretend that's what that means. But anyway, oh, look more. I There's a few other people that these are for, but I can't say it because I don't want to offend nobody. It'll be on our other channel. <laughs> but yeah, the ha the pastel look <clears throat> is really, really big right now. These goofy hats. I think that they're silly. Honestly, this is one that you wouldn't. I mean, unless I was wearing it, ironically, I don't think I'd ever wear a goofy pastel hat with a big diamond <laughs> on it. But uh, crazy. Uh, All right, guys. Let's see. What do we What's have? Next? All right. This one has been trending for a while. It's still trending. Corgis are huge right now. Is that Jesus and Corgi? That's weird. That's that's a weird thing to paint. <laughs> but Corgi butts are huge because I don't know if you've ever seen a Corgi butt. They are super duper poofy. Oh, look. Little. <laughs> oh, look. There's one of your dad at the beach hats right there. With, with a, a Corgi. corgi with a Corgi. That's where trends. That's trendy dad at the beach. <laughs> I love corgis. Oh, look, a sushi corgi. So cute. Corgis are cute. I I'll love I'll give it that. I love I'm corgis. not a, I'm not big for the obsessing over animal stuff, but Corg corgis are cute. Corgis are super duper cute. I love the queen has had them for years. I know. We just watched a big huge video about the queen. Um and all about of her how she can do pretty much anything anywhere in the what world. What did they and say about her corgis? Like she can take all her corgis with her wherever she wants to go. Like yeah. by law, her yeah. corgis can the queen can do anything pretty much anywhere in the world that she wants to do yeah like my my the most interesting thing to me was how she can take your babies yeah she it is apparently she it's perfectly legal for her to just walk into your house first off eat all of your food and then just take your baby and leave and there's nothing anybody can do about it because she it's some rule way back when that she's like the protector of all children right, so she's allowed to just walk and like walk up to you take your baby and you can't do anything about it but you but she would never do that no thankfully. no she has an extremely high approval rating i love her everybody's saying she's a badass yeah she is so she's like 150 years old dude with uh with jurassic world the new jurassic world coming out uh, it, it's like t-rexes are big but velociraptors are bigger um, that is not a velociraptor. That is a stegosaurus, Etsy. That was bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Velociraptors Amber are... said she did that to me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Use my lavatory. <laughs> but, uh, she took your children. Amber, I, I was going to tell she, you... To... She came in my house, ate all my food, pooped, didn't flush, and took my kid. <laughs> oh, but the funny thing is, is you're not allowed to sue her. So right. it doesn't really matter. So she can just take your, she can just take your, oh, look, a corgi on a velociraptor. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. You never open your door to the queen. It's actually illegal to not open your door to the queen. Oh, I love the queen. But velociraptors are huge right now in particular. Jurassic World is coming out. That, wow, look at Ronald Reagan riding a velociraptor. That was my desktop at work in the military for a long time. That, that, let's, is, that let's, is an open source picture. That let's many, take many, many a moment to appreciate the fact that my husband, who worked in a very secure building, had this while he was in the military. No, no, no. Hold on. Since, as his, since we have time here. As his desktop wallpaper. <laughs> Epic president art. <laughs> oh, no. Where's the other one that I had? Where? Oh, here's one for Trump. Somebody finally made one. Cool. These there are... was this one. Was I one like of my George favorites. Bush on the shark. <laughs> I had so many of these uh... desktops that are made by people that are just like. Oh, no. <laughs> Crazy. All right. <laughs> okay, anyway. Back on it. Ba yeah. The zo <laughs> zombie killing. That's anyway, hilarious. these are these are like my favorite. I had these when I was in the military. Oh, but anyway, guys, velociraptors are going to be really, really big over the summer because Jurassic World is coming out. Everyone's expecting it to be a huge hit, just like the last one was. So it's something to consider, uh, especially if you make children's products, if you make anything that's, um, you know, 
for actually kids and adults are really into dinosaurs right now. So I guess that's not really, not really. Uh, well, she said, wow, specific. stuff you never knew existed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's talk a little bit about colors that are in right now. Some of the biggest colors that I'm seeing in home and clothing is gray. Um, I'm all right with that. I had seen well. I'm okay, I'm okay with gray. We it's yeah, neutral. we painted our uh, living room is actually gray. Yeah, but I like I like the neutral colors. I'm kind of sick of the bright, ridiculous colors everywhere. So I'm glad that gray is kind of making a, a stand. Right, gray Give is my eyeballs a, a break for a year. Yeah, gray is a huge color this year. All of these neutrals having uh, you know gray and a little bit of tan, gray and white, a little bit of gray and black. Moonstruck um, said that rose gold is huge this year. Yeah, we'll be Ugh. going over that too. Heck. Um. And then the other thing, and gray is huge in clothing too. So don't think that that's just home decor. Uh, the other thing that we're noticing a lot of is copper. And I'm really big. We have a copper kitchen. Pretty much yeah. all the hardware in our kitchen is copper. So if you make jewelry, if you make anything for the kitchen, anything for the home, jewelry displays, things like that, copper is really, really big right now. Um, that would be a really, really good one for you to consider. I don't think I make any copper jewelry. Um but that would be something cool that you can incorporate. And like everyone has been saying, his 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 keyboard is way different than mine. And trying to type on it, it's like a whole so different It seems like a mixed bag with the rose gold. You know what rose gold reminds me of? It reminds me of that like really expensive perfume that makes you smell like you got peed on by a walrus. <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> like a that's, musk? That's, that's, yeah, that's no, um, not a musk. I'm talking about like the really strong stuff when you're walking through the- Macy's. Walking through Macy's, like even after it's closed and they sprayed it 10 hours ago, but you can still smell it, that perfume. Ugh. He's, he can't That's what do... rose gold reminds me of. I think rose gold goes a lot with the copper. Um, but look, there's the sequin <clears throat> pattern or the sequin fabric that we talked about. Um, more sequin fabric. And don't just think jewelry when you think rose gold. If you look in uh, rose gold. I like gold, copper jewelry. I just can't wear it because of my metal allergies. If you look in rose gold stationery, it's huge everywhere. Rose gold is big all I'll over the place. I'll think of that every time I see rose gold from now on. What, stinky, stinky perfume? You don't like much, do you, Mark? Uh, you know, it's not, I'm, I'm being cynical here. He's I'm trying being, to be I, comical. I, right, I'm being a little bit extreme, but it's one of those things. I'm just not a big fan of trends. People people think too much about what they're gonna wear and what they're gonna look like that it just makes people look ridiculous half of the time. But we're we're like marketers. people that people we that people to. that wear like eight inch freaking stiletto shoes with a bright, obnoxiously pink floral dress with nothing but rose pink or uh, rose gold jewelry on with like a gallon of perfume. I think like we nobody likes that person. Like they're mean. They're usually more cynical than I am. So he's his own niche. He is. I, don't, I am my own niche. Don't, and you know what's funny though? All my friends are the same way. So I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's not just me. All right. So white marble, especially when paired with gold, when paired with rose gold, when paired with black. I, I like the white marble. I and I know you like this white marble too. It's very clean, especially like these uh what are they? Are they like utensil holders? I love white marble and it's really big, especially if you look how you can see the gold in between the cracks. I don't know I what think... Tafeta is. What's Tafeta? Is that Mark secretly likes Tafeta? I don't know what that is. I don't want to Google it. It might I don't be either. Some... It might be gross. I don't want to know. Fashion is huge for social functions only because people make it that way. That's true. You know, he and I are the type who will go to like a big thing because his family is really uppity. They own like a huge construction company um, and we'll go to some of their functions wearing like the most hideous, ridiculous, goofy clothing like those with the silliest shirts and things like that. Just because Taffeta. I don't care. I just don't. What? It's like a silky fabric. Then definitely. Oh, not. no, he would not like that at all. So. You're um, like my husband. I always say he's an 80 year old man in a 32 year old's body. That's him. That's I think that's a good thing. I think more people need to be like that. The world would it, be a better place if more people were like me. But feels gross. I think everybody says that though. Yeah. The any fabrics that have a weird feeling. Yeah. You can't do so. Um, the white marble mm. and of course neons. We already kind of talk about it. We'll just type in neon. Neon colors right now are huge. Uh, 
neon signs are big, all of that crazy 80s neon colorful. It's all back in. It's back in in makeup. It's back in with decor. It's back in with kids. It's back in with clothes. Um, you're mainly going to see this with teenagers. Oh, look at, oh no, it's a print. It's not an actual neon sign. I want this giant lumpy. I think it's a print with a neon on top of it. No, I think it's just a, a open it up in a new tab. Just open that is it. definitely a neon light on a print. No. Or no, it's an instant download. Never it's a mind. Print. Don't That's worry. stupid. I want the actual picture. But yeah, I have allergy issues. I know everybody talking about their issues. Yeah. Yeah, I I actually have a serious metal allergy. Like I can't wear watches unless I coat them with clear nail polish because my skin just inflames. Whoops. Stripes are big this year. Stripes are. It's one of those things that's in and out. Different types of stripes. I'm noticing that thin stripes are really big. Uh, normally we see horizontal stripes, but I'm actually seeing a lot of pants and things in uh, vertical stripes. He's actually the one who found the stripes as being a huge yeah, thing. Yeah, stripes is a big thing. But the thing that bugged me is like when I was looking at the stripes, it was all like uh, pantsuits, horizontal rompers. Yeah. It's like, like Ugh. if rompers is one thing, horizontal stripes is another. Put them together and you just like, I don't know. Yeah. It's like hipster camouflage. I, this this right here, the black, white, and gold uh, runner, that's a really good example of how stripes are trending right now. Those colors are trending. I think that that's like a really good example. Black, white, um, and gold. So stripes. Yeah. Black, white, and brown. Black, white, and gold is really big Button right now. on her now. jeans has always left a raw spot on her belly. Just put just put clear nail polish on, on the metal. Yeah. That, that'll make it go away. Reapply it every few months or so. <laughs> they feel like the hipster camo. So ooh. the hips, the hipster thing is just striking on on both genders. Like last year, the hipster thing was really Whoops. big for, or I guess it would have been 2016. The hipster thing was really big for men. Women got really into it this last year, going back to like the 80s, 70s, like the romper look, uh, and the big giant floral hats, those kind of things. And I think to this year is going to be the year where they kind of cram together, and then in 2019 they'll die off. Yeah, floral patterns right now. We talked about that a little bit, and it's still really big. Like looking at this bow, um, <clears throat> uh, you can see a like a desk pad, um, phone cases. Floral patterns would be good for pillows, things like that. If you actually buy fabrics for your business, looks like everything I so, see when I walk into Hobby Lobby. Yep. Looks like Pinterest is. Um, well, here's the thing. He doesn't use Pinterest, so it's just showing what's trending, and it's all boobs, and we don't want you guys to look at boobs and whatever is trending right now on Pinterest. So I legit gonna... have never liked anything on Pinterest, yeah. so it's very confusing for me. What is the name of this color? We'll do it on Google. Blooming. Blooming Dahlia. Okay. Lily Tree said so busted. Yeah, right. I'm, 20, I'm almost 27 years old. I like boobs. Who cares? <laughs> so this is the color. It's Blooming Dahlia. If you click it's on kind something, of... they'll add it to your feed. The only thing I've ever clicked on Pinterest are food links that she sent to me yeah, for food. He, he only has that account. I, don't like, I actually don't like social media other than Facebook. He, uh, well, here's the thing. I, all of our recipes, we have like a, an app called Cozy. It's a really great yeah, app. Yeah. Um, if you guys you know, need like an organization app, but basically you can add all the members of your family to it. You can share recipes on it. You can share a grocery list. And what I do is I send him recipes on Pinterest and send those over. And then he can go through and add it to the uh, shopping list when he's out, if we're not shopping together. So, but anyway, this color, this blooming Dahlia, I'm seeing it all over the place, but nobody on Etsy is actually tagging it as the color. In fact, if we Go ahead and copy this over and paste it. There might be a few people using it. Yeah, there's a few people that are using that color. It's a Pantone color. Um, yeah, I guess there are quite a few people using it. He thinks he denies too much. I ain't denying anything. I like boobs. Let's move on. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we don't want to offend anybody, but it's one of those things where I'm, I'm a woman and I think that it'd be pretty obscure for male human nature in general, if they were like, ew, boobs, gross. Men enjoy so. drinking the beer and looking at the boobs. Well, yeah. That's just kind of how it is. That's human nature. But anyway, guys, this color is Blooming Dahlia. And the other color that I found is called Black Flame. And it's not anything that you think, like, that you're going to imagine when you see it. Um, I guess that's not helping. Yeah, Let's Google do Images wasn't a good place to do that one. 
Pantone. There we go. There you go. So it's almost when I think black, Look, it's gray. It is gray. <laughs> when I think black flame, I'm not thinking of like a blue gray, but apparently this color is huge as one of the colors of the year for Pantone. Um, I'm noticing it mixed a lot with pink, white, black, gold. So it's one of those things. Boobs are evergreen. I'm so offended. Everyone's offended. If black you're offended, flame. You camp. need to rethink your life. Yeah, that's kind of boobs otherwise everywise otherwise known as gray. Exactly. Well, it's more of like a purple gray. Um, if you look no, down here, I don't see purple gray at all. It's well, it's it's gray others. with less black. Yeah. Thanks so. for showing my wallet. Your wallet? Oh, did we show your wallet, Amy? Was it on one of our, when we scrolled through? We might have scrolled through a couple of your guys' products if you have anything yeah, that's she's trending. Yeah, said I would call it charcoal. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's like you took a picture of gray and then you pulled the contrast down. All right, so go ahead. Let's go ahead and stop screen sharing since we are done with our list of trending any second now. There we go. Yay, Let, we're back. We're back. Let's talk about the things that died this year. And some of these are more. Oh, thank God. Things that died. Rest in peace. Let's have a funeral right now for all the things that died this year. Let's see here. Aliens. Aliens were huge last year. And now they're because kind of Because the pot dying. legalization thing was so huge. That's the why trippy, everybody was getting into aliens. All the trippy stuff. The trippy mushrooms. I mean, they're still kind of in, but they're not as big. So it's one of those trends that I wouldn't start making alien products now. Um, if you didn't already. I made alien keys for a while. Um, <laughs> by request of his little sister, she asked me to make alien keys. I just keys. jumped on and you were talking about boobs. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> we, what talking about things that are trending well we scroll we accident we popped on pinterest and it was there were just boobs on pinterest so we were like okay i said maybe. mark's favorite part dang right uh, i think all the guys pandas out there, they were literally dying last year oh the, oh i know that's sad but pandas like the actual panda trend having pandas on everything it was really big last year yeah, this year pandas sure. aren't nearly as big as they were so pandas i mean they're always going to be cute they're always going to be popular Oops. everyone's always <laughs> gonna everyone is talking about boobs boobs are always trending yeah. All right. You, you know, can't go wrong. Here's the thing, guys. If we want to be perfectly honest, I was going to add that to the list because, for example, like the nursing caps that look like a little boob, the crocheted hat. Oh, my God. On the baby. Did you see the kid at the Newport Aquarium that was wearing that? A little boob? There was, yes. There was a woman walking around with her kid that was older than breastfeeding age. I'm not going to get into that. And he was wearing one of the just the, walking around, just walking it. around with it. Yeah. Here's the thing. I think that it's cute. <laughs> Janet's. Jen. Boobs, boobs, you can unhide. Here's the thing, guys. Uh, with with the boobs, it's kind of like you just have to know your market if you want to get into that. Um, anything. It's, it's just it was just one of those niches with like the breastfeeding, all that kind of stuff. Which were we? They got. I support it, but it got like super mainstream, and everybody started talking about it. And I'm glad that it's dying off. It's one of those things. that's like keep it to yourself. Do your own we, thing. You be you. We're not into the like cover yourself. If you want to feed your baby in public, that's one thing. But the only th we just were weirded out more. It, I, it became an obsession. It, right. it became more than just I want to breastfeed in public. It's like I want to best breastfeed in public and I want everybody to know about it. Like nobody cares. Do your own do thing. It. You know, do, just do it. If somebody bothers you, tell them to screw off and be you. We're big. We're big on anything. If you want to do something and you're into it, you know, yeah. you, do it. But our our thing with the breastfeeding, it's like we we want you to breastfeed. We did it. You know, with well, we didn't try do to. It. We yeah. Um, I said we like you did it. You yeah. breast, you breastfed. But, you know, it's it's one of those things where when we see like a three year old walking around with a boob hat on, we're thinking, hmm, it's kind of weird. It's just kind of a weird thing. Yeah, to do. just like Blasted Monkey said there, just get on being you. Yeah, sure. just be you. Right. Like, you don't need to advertise. It Rally everyone else. Like, to here, be I'm going to take all these selfies, breastfeeding. Stop. Nobody cares. Hey. Just feed your baby and shut up. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, if you want to take one and you have like a big, huge post about it, like you want to empower women, I think it's fine. okay. Fine. But don't that's... do it like nonstop. That's all you do. I don't know. It's just do. We're just going to move on. All right. Pandas. Free the boobies. This has been a weird chat, you guys. It has. It has. Emojis. 
Guys, emojis are big right now. The movie the, killed them for sure. The movie, and I'm so glad. The movie killed emojis. Emojis are still big. The poop emoji is still huge. It's not going to last much longer. Here's the thing. I know it's not going to uh, last much longer because now I'm seeing rainbow unicorn poop emojis where it's literally a poop with a unicorn horn. And I know that when a trend can't stand on its own anymore and it has to like piggyback on multiple other trends, then it's reaching the end of its lifespan. Yeah. So now is not the time to start making emoji products. That trend is going to die probably it's by the end of summer. Very quickly. The only time anybody cares about emojis now is when they make a new like race. Have you guys talked about digital download or printable sticker? Just wonder what the market we, I mean, all of these trends could be applied to those uh, topics if that's what you mean. But um, we like hanging out with you guys too. We do too. My biggest Mother fear. Mother Nature's bottles. It, they, are. they are, they are, they, they are. And we saved so much money, you know, those first few weeks that it was possible for us. We won't get into that. Rainbow unicorn poop and sold it at Ren Fairs. It's crazy. Yeah, that's, um, we'll talk about unicorn poop in a minute. So um, another thing that's dying this year, you still see it. It's not as big and I don't think it's going to last much longer. Denim everything. It gets, it comes back every oh, few yeah. years. It's, it's dying and I'm so happy. The, so, oh, I mean, I have like a denim jacket and things, but now I'm seeing less and less of it. Um, if you're not going to walk around smelling like a whole pack of Marlboro cigarettes, don't wear all denim. Oh, come on. I got all it's, denim it's just jacket. It just goes along with it. If you're going to wear all denim, you have to smoke Marlboros and it has to be like 100s, like the big fat cigarettes. I'm triggered. So, I have a, I have a denim jacket and that's I love not it. All, that's not all denim. I'm talking like denim pants, denim shirt, denim jacket, denim hat. Oh, yeah. That was a thing last year, and I'm glad it's dead. Yeah. Deb, seeing any trends in skincare? Oh, excuse me. Here's the thing with skincare. Uh, it's almost like the scents and things like that remain true and consistent. However, the way that you package them, for example. No, damn, unicorn, then. We're talking about clothes. For example, you know, um, with with uh, bath and body care, we talked about men's grooming. You could incorporate a lot of the things that we talked about into your packaging, things like that. You could make a, a theme. Maybe you're making a soap and you call it the pink flamingo because flamingos are big. Mm -hmm. You could make, because pineapples are trending, make pineapple packaging for, you know, a bath bomb and make it a yellow bath bomb and yeah. call it the pineapple bomb. You know, you can apply these trends be to be anything. Creative. Yeah. Be creative with it. You can do pretty much whatever you want. Yeah, and you have to think that pineapple you know, sense. Right, you got to think that if if you're staying on, if you're thinking about these trends abstractly and how you can apply them to your product, you know, it doesn't need to be pineapple patterns. It could be a pineapple, a picture of a pineapple on your packaging for your soap. You know, things like that, things that stand out to people. Yeah. So, yeah. And then you got to think that nobody else is doing it yet. You know, a lot of these are ideas that no one else has thought to apply abstractly. So, all right, moving on, um, zombies are only big during Halloween time now. Uh, I, when The Walking Dead was really big, zombies were everywhere every time of year. Zombies are dying out. I don't recommend making zombie-themed products just all the time unless you are in a horror-related niche where you're constantly making, you know, gothic-themed products and things like that. Uh, we introduced a zombie key for Halloween, and I thought, you know what? I'm not going to get rid of this. I'm going to leave it in my shop because zombies are so big. And since Halloween, I think I've sold, like, one of them. Amber so. mentioned that gin is becoming a huge It trend. is. It is. And I don't. Ugh. Gin is huge right now. There's a gin. It was gin. Like the spreadable so gin. Yeah. Like, do people really like the taste of gin that much? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's like drinking a Christmas tree. It's gross. But Heck. gin is huge right now in terms of alcohol. Yeah, alcohol trends are always big. Whiskey's always big. Whiskey Wine or is always bust, big. bro. Whiskey or bust. Whis or rum. rum. I could go for some rum. Tequila tastes like a fart. Just so you guys know, we don't even drink. <laughs> yeah, like drinking pine salt. I agree. Like yeah. it's good in, in like a mixed drink every once in a while, but I can't taste it. If right. I can, if I can taste the pine taste, get out of it. My new micro brewing. You don't micro brew gin. <laughs> get out of here with that. <laughs> micro brew. You're triggering gin. him. Get out of here. You're triggering I'm going to take my $15 a bottle beers and go over here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So dabbing how do you know what a fart tastes like i don't know have you Did, ever been in a room where somebody let a really hot fart and you can taste it i'm sure you have I it happens that, like oh bro i can taste your fart yeah bro good yeah. irish whiskey too sweet too sweet for me i like irish whiskey my favorite irish whiskey is called the knot too sweet for me too sweet. dabbing 
dabbing. You oh need a dab? Oh, God. You need no, a dab? I'm show them what a dab is. I'm not going to show them what a dab is. I don't is. know how to dab. It's like, it's like, 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 like Divorce that. papers are on the way. <laughs> dabbing. Dabbing is dead. Don't make dabbing references You're in your marketing. Me. <laughs> dabbing. Dabbing is dead, guys. It's We're, so dead. I'm in my, I am in my, well, mid-20s. Me, dear woman. Grilsh is the best. Golden Drock. Golden Drock. Um... So unicorn poop, some people were talking about unicorn poop. It's good for certain niches, but overall those shops that are just making, producing unicorn poop, everything mm -hmm. that's starting to die out too. We're seeing way less of it. And a lot of that is because <clears throat> unicorn frappuccinos that happened for what? Like one week last summer, people are still making unicorn frappuccino products, but the hype is over unless they bring back unicorn frappuccinos this year which I don't know if they even will. They might, who knows, but unicorn fraps. Mystic Blast's monkey said her daughter is profusely to tell her that stabbing is dead. That means you need to start doing it. Do it all the time. Anytime she's around, anytime she says anything about something being cool, like, oh, check out this new pair of clothes I got. Dab. Like, you, you have to, please, for me, do just, it. Just, just, just annoy her it. with it. Use it. <clears throat> use it. Do it ironically. The, what what is wrong with society is people do these things unironically. Right. It's when you do it ironically that it's okay. That Never it dab unironically. That's like Jimmy Fallon. Like stop. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. He's Jimmy like 140. Fallon. Stop dabbing. Jimmy Fallon. He's young. Yeah, he's old. He's, he's not old. He's old. He's not old. He's old news. Old news. Well, that yeah. reminds me of checking to make sure I use deodorant. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. Doesn't Dab that have to do with weed? Yes. Also, well, we're talking about this the, 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 the dance move. The the the, the dad. Yeah, you are stop. <laughs> I, I'm not lowering my. Speaking, head I'm gonna punch it. you in the boob if you don't stop. Then yeah, that should be over. But I see tons of it. So. <laughs> Oh, what enamel kind of pins still in are they still dying it's kind of a mix you know bag. what i actually had that on the list and i didn't say it. enamel pins are huge this year <laughs> everybody said what is dabbing just don't yes. worry about it it's it's safe just type in Did you see the ad for the squatty potty hey there ain't nothing wrong with pooping healthy okay? i like the squatty potty yeah we've seen the squatty potty ad multiple times with the unicorn pooping but anyway hilarious darn i missed the unicorn frap i guess i gotta get through all these comments here okay I don't get the point of dabbing. Why for? Because. Because it's funny. It's just uh, weird. What I thought dabbing looked like. She's giving me the evil looks. She can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Let's see here. My son does that after everything. Like who? 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 I killed the creeper dab. Oh man. Oh, I can't keep up. We'll just. We'll just keep going. All right. Hey, my favorite shirt asks, did you poop today? We, I almost bought him a mug that said I pooped today. What was the shirt I was talking about earlier that I wanted? It was really funny. I can't remember. Gotta love Mark for the entertainment. Just for the entertainment purposes. I don't bring anything else to the table. <laughs> now I'm triggered. All right. Here's one that you'll love. Are you ready for this? Military fashion. Military fashion. Please avoid military. There are some things. She has uh, had to like drag me away from places because of people wearing things that are so close to the real uniforms. You're not supposed to do that by the way. Yeah. It was express was selling what is literally uh, the air force fleece, which yeah. is a fleece jacket. And you have these Velcro areas where you the, put your the patches. The fake ones didn't put those on there. The, the ones that did, they got in trouble for it. They're not allowed to do that. Yeah. They're so, not, you're not like, just understand that if you're still in the military fashion, the stuff that looks like the real thing, you are, you could be making yourself a target. Just understand that. Like I have been verbally assaulted for wearing some of my military stuff uh, when I was still in the military, like going to lunch in a uniform or something like that. You're making yourself a target. It's not safe. Yeah. And take it from somebody who, you like know. if you're a vet and you're okay with that kind of thing, you're walking around with your fleece without the patches. I'm not still not super cool about with it. Just understand that you are making yourself a target and you might get attacked. Right. I've been verbally assaulted for wearing my my military stuff. Right. And I mean, he was in he was in the military when it no, happened. If, I'm not talking. I'm talking about like current uh, Moonstruck said, get rid of your vintage Vietnam field jacket. No, I'm talking about current military stuff like people that right. legitimately wear like an ABU or BDU top that they've chopped the sleeves off of and they're walking around in it. Like you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. Like for one, you're make it's, it's mocking the military. And for two, you could get hurt. Yeah. And like ABU pants, things like that. Um, 
you know, but a lot of things, um, you know, like the vintage military jackets, like you, have you seen like the dark green, you know, like the dresses that button up all the way, things that aren't a part of the current uniform is fine. But if you're going to make military themed clothing yeah. and things like that, you just want to take a look and, and, at uh, what you're using. And definitely if you are going to wear that kind of thing and you're totally cool with it, understand what um, stolen valor is. Yeah. Definitely understand what stolen valor is. Like I even saw um, a few people that would walk around with stripes on. That, that's illegal. Yeah, you, can't you can't do, do that. that. And with the name tags or the U.S. Air Force patch, if you want to do it to be like respectful and you've got like patches and stuff, like you're a biker, for instance, if you're a biker that's wearing like you cut the sleeves completely off and you get all the patches like support our vets, whatever, that's fine. But if you're legit just walking around in like your stepdad's old uniform top, you actually aren't supposed to do that. You can actually get in trouble for that. You might piss a vet off. Yeah, definitely. And you can find some great videos on that on YouTube if you just type in Stolen yeah, Valor. They're, they're that's entertaining. Actually, that's actually an arrestable charge, yeah. just so you're aware. So but other than that, you should be fine. Just just understand the consequences. Of right. And military fashion in general is kind of dying out this year. Yeah, it was I'm, really, I'm kind of glad it is. Yeah, it was a big thing there for a while, but it's one, disappearing. One thing that was really getting in was the bomber hats. Yeah. Like the oh, old yeah. school, like bomber hats. Yeah, those, those were pretty big for a little while. I mean, they're year. they're warm too. Yeah, so they are. They're for really sure. warm. So, all right, guys. Um, what do we have next? Oh, Navy mom, I make to. Yeah, that's fine. The, yeah, that's the, perfectly the, fine. The, I'm I'm just talking about people that go and take a piece of military stuff and then just put it on and wear it unironically. Right. For, like, just don't do that. If you yeah. want, if you want to modify the heck out of it, make bag. I think the people that make the bags out of the old used uniforms, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think neat. that's neat. Especially if you're like, I see a lot of them donate money to like charities for wounded vets and stuff like that. I think right. that's cool. And you know, kids clothing, like <laughs> if you're, if your husband's deployed and you know, you want to get your daughter a little dress made out of, you know, a piece of his uniform and things like that. I right. think that that's really cool too. Yeah. So, all right, moving on another big one that's dying out. Now this is, this is kind of subjective. It depends on what you're using it for. Um, coconut oil was one of the biggest trends, I believe 2016 and 15, but because of some recent research on coconut oil, we're finding out that it's not quite as healthy for you. It's incredibly as you unhealthy for you. Um, as so a matter of fact, the due to the kind of fats, it depends on the kind of coconut oil before any any hipsters in here get, go crazy on this. <laughs> Depending on the type of coconut oil that you're using, most main brand coconut oils that most of us and you can afford have actually a higher fat content than butter in most cases. Not, not just fat, but not just fat, bad fats. Right. Um, <clears throat> they're bad for your cholesterol. Like they're just bad overall. Don't use coconut oil. If you want to use it for like skincare, use it for skincare. If you want to do it for adult things, use it for adult things. Don't eat it. It's right. not really that good for you. A little bit here and there. If you want to add flavor to something is fine. Just understand that it's technically not even as healthy and as butter. And despite the fact that we're a little chunky right now, would you like to state your credentials real quick? What? Your credentials. Would you On like what? to- on dietary nutrition and things like that. Oh yeah, so I, I mean, I'm fat now. I got these like man titties going on, but <laughs> don't say that word. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, is I, I I did used to be a bodybuilder. I was on a bodybuilding team for quite some time. I've done all the nutrition stuff. I'm going to school for exercise science now. Just I think college is ridiculous, but I'm going there just to have a degree, just to say I have one, um, and it because it pays my rent. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I guess that's what qualifies me to talk about it. But but honestly, coconut oil is just bad for you. Just don't eat it. Joshua says that research was biased. On what side? On what side? Fat is fat. Yeah. So high fat content is high fat content. It's it's healthier than like olive oil and stuff like that in some cases. It just depends. Most people don't know what I'm saying is most people don't know how to use it appropriately. Most people put it in everything and on everything which is unhealthy. So it's better to just avoid it. Right. So, all right. So anyway, and make sure that if you are using coconut oil, like for personal use, just buy the most expensive one that you find. That's not necessarily true either. Well, just do your research, understand right. if it's for you or not. All right. I so boobs were trying to stop it. More boobs. Everyone's talking about boobs. All right. Guys ready for this one. Every, some people are going to be sad. Some are going to be happy. Bacon. Bacon is not as big as it was last year, the year before, or the year before that. So bacon's never going to die. Everyone's always going no, to love bacon, it's not but die. here's I the love bacon. But the thing is, bacon everything, bacon toothpaste, 
you know, all of that bacon stuff, things that don't need to be bacon flavored and bacon scented, that's finally disappearing. So yeah, I'm so happy um, about that. I love bacon. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the fat. It's the sugar that kills us. We are very aware, Joshua. We yeah, are very I, aware. I am one of those people that has been under 8% body fat. I know quite a bit about nutrition. Right. So. Just not right now. Just not right now. <gasps> all right. I have, I have eating issues. Yeah. We, well, it's been a really weird, it's a very weird I have time some, of our life. Yeah. I have some eating disorders that come from when I was a teenager. I had serious eating problems when I was a teenager and I battled them as an adult. It's a real, it's a real thing. Yeah. So, um, but we want to kind of, we'll, we'll talk more about our fitness stuff when we make our other channel. Yeah. We're Cause we're going to about... do some more, some more, some more stuff with our fitness. We're going to do some gaming stuff, some prank stuff, just some random crap. Uh, some less safe for work things where right. I can curse like I normally do. All right. So also kind of dying out this year. Pirates aren't nearly as big as they have been in recent years. They weren't so big last year, um, but we're seeing a lot less of it in children's clothing and things like that. And I think it's because there's a genuine negative stigma now, uh, now that people actually know that what pirates really what, are. Right. What pirates <laughs> really are, what pirates really do and did. Um, so pirates, it's not that it's not safe to still use, you know, the traditional little pirate hats and things for children. Um, it's just not as big as it was. And I think it's because we're becoming a little bit more aware of the actual raw history of pirates, similar to how we have with uh, Christopher Columbus, for example. It's not as mainstream to do anymore. And People are saying that I'm cranky because I can't cuss. No, I'm cranky because I have a ton of like really raunchy jokes that I wish I could say, but I can't. Because That's I'm, why I'm cranky. Because I won't let him. But once we have another... Okay, you guys, just poll in the comments. This is a genuine poll. We need to know, how much real us do you want to know when we make this second channel? Because we're going to do unboxings. We're going to be doing goofy, just random, silly stuff. We are going to... We've talked about doing food challenges where we go up against each other with ridiculous food challenges. Like gross and spicy and, and funny, everything in between. Sour, silly things. How raw do you want us to be? Do you want him to curse just as much as he wants? Should I bleep it out? Um, uh, no, I won't get into like racial slurs and stuff no, like that. I don't nothing, want you to think like that. But That's I, not how we are. I put on a huge filter for this channel just because... <clears throat> Not you guys that are here in the live stream. I'm sure most of you wouldn't care, but the people that watch it after the fact and obviously monetization purposes, I have to keep it kind of clean. So, right. Curse. Well, here I don't curse to just curse. I just don't think there's any big deal with the words. Like, they're just words. Right. And here's the thing. We, the reason I thought about keeping it PG is because I know a lot of you guys watch this stuff with your children exactly. in the room. Exactly. Right. So we get some really weird comments that we usually delete about people commenting on him touching his face a lot. We get comments on this his... is a, this is a nervous reaction. So, and some of you, she actually talked about this earlier that I should probably mention something about it. Cause I get these red spots on my face and I don't think every, anybody's ever commented and on it. Had, so, well, yeah, we had some person who makes skincare products and she said right. that her products could help. You. So I have seboric dermatitis and mine is stress induced seboric dermatitis. So mine breaks out really bad, particularly right now. It's really, really bad. We got in our hot tub last night, so I'm really broke out. Um, but there's not really anything anybody can do about this. There are only like really strong chemicals can do anything about this. And I choose not to because I don't want to, I don't want to have cancer. So, um, do you have a PO box to send you goodies? We just talked about that. It's in our cozy. We're going to be doing it this week. Yeah. For my birthday. Yay. So yeah. that, that'll be coming this week. That way we can finally get our back wall done so yes. we can do that other channel. So, all right, guys. Well, I think that everybody pass on the curse mark. Just make more facial expressions. You crack me up. <laughs> no, I have to. I'm, I'm me. I curse. Yeah. So talk as, as if your child was in the room. Uh, I still kind of curse around our kids. She just, we make sure she understands what is and isn't good. Here's the thing. It's really it's hard. all about parenting. It's it's they said marijuana will help. I don't we, know. We don't comment. No comments yeah, on I'm drugs not, and alcohol and things. Any, that, any legal matters whatsoever. We don't. Taxes. We put, we put our opinions on politics, drugs. Those have their own video. <laughs> all of the, and, and taxes. I think politics, drugs, and taxes, they should just stay yeah, out of the channel. Out of the, this and is religion. Our, this is our, yeah, and religion. I'm not going to comment on religion either. This is our professional channel. Right. We'll have our do diddly booby channel on the other 
It's not a booby channel. It's not going to be a booby channel. You have to look real hard to find that. Our booby we'll channel? Here. No, we don't have a, his. Maybe his. He has a booby channel out there somewhere. All right. Can we get on with this very last? What? Oh, oh man. man. Can we? Rhubarb pie soap now. Man, y'all can send us whatever you want. Just no homemade foods and no money, please. Yeah, don't send us money. If it's less than $10,000, I don't want it. So just don't, don't bother sending money. <laughs> don't send us money in the mail. Unless All it's right. a check for 10000 or more. Unless you're in like a cool country and you have like some cool, that would be cool to collect like other countries. Don't send us like US dollars though. But if you have like a dollar bill and you're from another country and you want to send it to us for- or you have like a re really unique piece of currency. Right. That's pretty Things cool. Like, I like We'll that put it on the wall. We won't spend it. No. All right. <laughs> last thing. I, I'm like sitting here with, this is the worst stream ever. No, it's not. I, it. I like to keep it a little bit entertaining and kind of keep it on the new trends. I, th I see a couple people were talking about- um, some different clothing trends and oh. stuff like that. We weren't specifically talking about clothing trends. Oh, this no. is just trends in general. Last thing that I want to talk about, the big no-nos of this year, though. Um, stop putting mustaches on things. Stop making mustaches. Unless they're cute and it goes along with the rest of the, the theme of what you're doing, but not just mustaches. Mustaches were so big the last two years, and everyone is sick of mustaches. You don't see them anywhere anymore. Stop putting mustaches on things. Just the, the little curly mustaches, I don't know. I had a friend, a couple friends actually, who got mustaches tattooed on their finger so they could do this. And oh my God, Mark accepts Bitcoins, not US dollars. I actually don't do Bitcoin. Yeah, that's... believe it or not. I wish I would have in the military because I didn't pay an electric bill. So mining wouldn't have cost me a fortune, but whatever, too late now. It's, it's, a, it's going to die off eventually, I think. Either yeah, that or it's going to become the universal currency and I'm going to be poor. Yeah, it's going to go one of two care. ways. That's another one of those trending things. All right. I was I was going to leave, but I couldn't. I enjoyed this Friday a lot. I That's enjoyed good. this kind of stuff too. It's either this or working on her course or website or packaging orders or playing video games. So Yeah. Well, guys this, this is like the most social thing I get in my life. <laughs> it, it really is. We don't talk to people at all. No, we don't. We're usually we like we're not busy 24 seven, but we're busy enough that we can't leave the house for three or four hours on end. Right. You never know if we're going to get an order that pops up and somebody's like, my mom's birthday's in two days. Send this now. Like that happens. Most of the lot. time, most so, of the time we don't jump and do it, but if no, we time, most of the do. time, if they don't give us like a really good time frame, we're like, we'll try. Right. All right. Um, so next week, you guys, make sure it's on your calendar. Make sure that you have it documented. Uh, we are doing our live stream, our Q&A. It's going to be way more professional than this week's, obviously. Yeah. Anthony from Etsy Rank is going to be joining us. We're super duper excited. If you have any questions about Etsy Rank uh, or SEO's, Etsy's new SEO search algorithm, Write those down, save them for next week. Uh, we're only going to be answering questions during the Q&A. I know a few of you asked if we could take your questions because you couldn't make it. We're going to get so many questions, it's just going to be impossible to do you that. Want, you want so. me to talk on why their search results are messed up for now just to get rid of some panic? Nah, just no? let let, okay. let Anthony explain yeah, it we'll, next week. we'll let week. him go, go into it. Right, so that'll be next week. Then... Uh, if we know we have a question for that, should we submit it before? No, you're just going to submit no. it during. Just during, submit it during. And right I, in the chat. And I know that it's going to be one of those ones where it's going to be probably in, insane with the amount of questions. questions. So please don't be offended if we skip over a question that's similar to one in the past. If we come over a question that's similar or the exact same as one, like if you join a stream late, I'll watch let you know. I'll, I will let you know. Please watch the replay. We've already gone over that question. Right. Um, if it's a question that I don't think he can answer or we don't think he can answer, we're probably going to skip over it for the time being and kind of maybe catalog it and try to get with him afterwards. Um, some things just aren't possible. Um, so if it's something that just isn't feasible or possible, we'll probably skip over that too. But for the most part, he should be answering almost all of your guys' questions. Right. And he's also um, interested in some suggestions because there are, yes. there are a few tools that just aren't feasible anymore that he has on his site now that um 
now that the new search algorithms are in effect, some of those tools aren't going to work as well as they did. So he kind of needs some new ideas from us. What can he do to improve the tool so that we continue using it? I absolutely love Etsy rank. Um, and I don't want anyone to think that I'm like an affiliate or anything crazy no, like we're that. Not. We don't we're get not. a penny. We don't get a penny from him and he doesn't get a penny from us. Right. So he's someone that I would like to work with in the future, but I know that you guys have all told me that you enjoy Etsy rank. He? Anthony. Anthony from Etsy rank. He is the, the owner of Etsy rank. So, um, yes. but we'll be doing our, uh, Q and a with him next week. Same time. Yeah. The, the long Eastern. and short of it for you guys is that. Let's see. It's not really an algorithm change. It's not really what it is. Basically, they're including your location just like Facebook does. They're starting to get some more of the futuristic stuff like what Facebook does where they cater Google. things to you, right. essentially. Well, I'm not going to comment too much on it because it it'll take a long time to get into. We'll let me and Anthony will discuss that on here once we get to it. But next week, definitely look forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, having a, I think this will be our first guest. Yeah, it'll be our, it'll first, be our guest. first guest on here. Hopefully, he'll, you know be able to get on here in time and be able to answer all your guys' questions. And then you should also look out in the group and by email, um, and we'll probably do a Q&A for it too. We have something huge planned with Renee coming up for- um, Don't forget to like the video. I don't care if you like the video or yeah. not. It has, no, it has no effect on us at all. For the enrollment into HTU, for those of you who have been waiting for Handmade Titan University, Handmade Titan University is not my course, that's Renee Christine's course. Um, but we have something huge planned for the uh, open enrollment for that, which will be starting in mid-March. And then uh, as for our course, Handmade Alpha Academy, right now we're about... we're. Two. I'd say we're about halfway done all together with the course. Right. So. Um, she's about two-thirds of the way done with writing it all out. <clears throat> and then, which is the longest part, like we've said before, after that, we have to get into uh, recording whatever videos we're going to record because a lot of it isn't going to be face to face. A lot of it is going to be animations and stuff like that. So then we have to make those. And then I have to do all the audio mixing. She's going to do the video editing and stuff with me. So we don't have a date for that, basically. <clears throat> we, don't have, we don't have a date for that. Basically, when she's done scripting, we're going to be working 24 7 to pound out the videos and the audio and all that stuff. We still have some stuff we have to pay for. So once that's all done, all I have to do is post it online, uh, beta test it, <clears throat> and we'll be good to go. Yeah. So, all right, guys, this has been super exciting. Do we have, I know we didn't really answer a lot of trend questions. Are there any last minute questions? Important questions. Right. Before we bounce off of here, any trend questions, any, I mean, they don't. We will be sending out a few, I'm sure a few emails on the webinar for next week because it's an important one. Yeah, I'll be because I don't want to have to keep answering questions for Anthony. I'll, I'll let him hammer as much as we can. So we want to get as many people into that stream as we possibly can. Right. That way we can just send, you know, everyone already knows what's going on. And then we have that link to forever share with anyone. All right. <clears throat> last minute questions. Last chance to ask, guys. Uh, did Etsy drop commas? No. You mean for dividing out? Here's the thing. It doesn't need to be commas. It can be commas. It can be dashes. It can be slashes. It doesn't matter. Those are just ways that you divide if, out search terms. If you don't use Etsy, is it worth watching Anthony's Q&A? If you plan on using Etsy, yes, but we're I mean, it's it, his site no. is specifically for Etsy. So yeah, no, it probably really. won't. It probably won't be something useful to you if you don't use Etsy. So that might be one. Yeah, thing if you don't, if you don't use Etsy and you don't ever plan on using Etsy for your business, then no, it's not going to be important for you. If you might use it in the future, wouldn't hurt for you to drop in just to learn kind of the ins and outs and what we do. Stephanie, so will this be your own separate course, or will it be more of a companion? Like, will this kind help of, us from starting a business to keep? keeping running it. Yes, it's meant yes. It's meant to fit like a puzzle piece with HTU. Whether you are in HTU or not, it doesn't matter. I wanted to make it so that you could have taken HTU and still learn oodles. Yes. Or if you've never taken HTU, you could just take, you know, Handmade Alpha Academy. So it's they, basically- They go hand in hand, but you don't require one to have the other. Right, exactly. Basically, the person so. that this is for is the person that's just starting their shop, on thinking Etsy. about starting a shop on Etsy, already has a shop and isn't really making a lot of sales 
or wants to learn a little bit more of how to keep their sales consistent. If you've been on Etsy for 10 years and don't have any sales, it's going to be for you too. If you're on Etsy and you're making a couple grand a month, it's not probably not going to be for you. It wouldn't hurt, but it's probably not going to be for you. So, right. So if you're already a really <laughs> successful seller, um, other than the small psychology aspects that we're, we're going to be adding in, it's not going to be anything that you don't already know. If you're making it's, as many sales, you know, it's to so look at it in a skill set. it's going to be from like the beginner, Etsy, like just in training to the like early advanced Etsy user, but from like advanced to master class Etsy user, it's not going to be for you. Right. Exactly. Beginner, so, intermediate, early advanced guys. It's for you. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. not for, uh, one of a kind, one of a kind yeah, and vintage, right? So, not for one of a kind and vintage. It's not really going to work for you guys. Yeah. And I'm going to have, I mean, you know, I, I plan to later create a course specifically for those things. That way you guys aren't wasting your money on content that you don't need. You'll only be getting specific content, but that's going to be quite a while. Yes. Away, that's so. going to take some time. I mean, we've been working on this course for six months, seven yeah. months. Been a so while. it's been a while. Obviously we've had holdups because okay. of holidays and all of that kind of stuff, but. Uh, search terms for other e-commerce sites and how those systems are very different. Search terms for you. Oh yeah. Um, is it okay to save the emails attached to order so that we have them if it closes? Emails if Etsy are... closes, Etsy ain't gonna Etsy's close. Etsy's not gonna close, no. I, and you can't and just save they, those emails. And if they did close, they would still have to provide you with any information that you needed for legal or tax purposes. Otherwise, so yeah, you're not. You can't just <clears> save <throat> your customer emails unless they give them mm -hmm. to you. Um, anything else? Yeah, you have to have permission for stuff like that. Uh, Danita said, what about uh, applying these trends that you suggested for people who make other items? You sure. gotta be, you gotta be yeah. creative. Yeah. Just yeah. Be, we can't, we can't tell you exactly what to do. You just got to kind of take the trends and see what you can do, experiment and play around. And that if you find something that sticks, there you go. Right. You could totally revolutionize a new trend within <coughs> your industry. There might not be somebody making a leather unicorn. You know, that's just a if goofy example. If you're an example. H2 and art architect. Yeah. I yes. mean, our, our course is a complete, it's not going to be, the same material that Renee is teaching. It is a completely different set of material, right? It it's, is, it's not, it's not even going to fall on her website underneath her stuff. We have our own website and our own course library and all of that kind of stuff. Right. Our own extras. It's going to be very similar to Renee's, but it's not going to be partnered with Renee's. It's our own course. And when we say it's similar, we're talking more about the layout of the course, the yes. navigation, things like yes. that. The material is completely different. Right. Not this even is, close. This is not a, because all of her, for example, she's list, all of hers are under cupcake trainings. We are not like a cupcake trainings no, course. Not we at are all. It, is handmade, it is handmade alpha. Right. Copyright everything. It's, that's ours. So it's all by itself. All right. Alternative guest books for wedding did that come up? I came in halfway through. Not really, but at the same time, you could apply any trends. Well, that's to... that's a very specific niche. That wouldn't be something that's like a mainstream trend. Right. You could add in anything for that niche. There are so many ideas I can go into leather. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Create the next big thing. Create the next big trend. That's as as a designer, that's what you should be trying to do anyway. As an artist, if you're somebody that's into the artistic side of Etsy. You should be trying to create the next new trend. Jessica <clears> said, <throat> wish I could afford both. Here's the thing. The point of these courses, if you choose to continue your education and what, you know, we kind of promote, and it's, it's not like we're trying to loop you into some pyramid thing. We're like, okay, buy this one. Now buy this one. Now buy this no, one. No, not even, not at we all. We want you to be able to make enough sales so you can continue learning, whether it's with us or whether it's with, you know, buying books, buying other learning resources. That's what's going to make you a successful seller. The best thing to do when you're considering continuing at your education is you can, but you can see both ours and Renee's free material online. Pick who you learn the material best from. Yeah, who it, you like to listen to talk to take that course first. And when you have the money and the time, take the other course too. take do do whatever you think is going to be more beneficial for you. Yeah. Ours is specifically about the, the new Etsy. to medium Etsy user. It's right. specifically about that Renee's course goes over other stuff. Ours is specifically about Etsy for now. We will have other stuff in the future. So just pick whoever you think you're going to learn the best from and take that course. And if you want to take both, Take both when you have the money and time. If you if you think Renee would be a better teacher, take pick Renee. Pick Renee. Take her course first, and when it reopens next year, take ours. Right. Like, we have no problem with that. 
Right. I mean, if we're not a good fit for you, or if we think that you're not a good fit for us, if you sell a product that we know our course wouldn't be good for. Like it, if, if there are some people that sign up for the course that aren't meant for it, we'll probably refund re you your money. We yeah. don't, we don't want you wasting your time on something that isn't for you. Right. Exactly. So do your, do your thing. Be you. I like your more psychological approach. Yeah, that's it. And that's what's going on with the Alpha Academy is we're kind of breaking down the actual marketing mindset that goes behind um, yes. exactly There's what's happening. There's a lot of psychology stuff in hers. It's, it's mainly, you know, marketing psychology. And a lot of you guys who have your shops established, uh, for example, maybe you already have a logo and branding, but you're not quite <clears throat> happy with it. We're going to be covering all of that, exactly what to do and what you should be thinking about the psychology behind that branding, behind designing your cover photo, the psychology behind designing your logo. Um, so it's not just going to be, well, make a pretty logo and put it on your banner and make everything match. It's not going to be like that. We're right. going to we're going to go into the color psychology behind all of the possible color options that you could be choosing. That way you're actually creating the desired feeling that you want your fans to feel from the second that they click on your storefront. Right. So. And I mean, in the first launch we know isn't going to be a very big launch. We're launching right after HTU. We expect a lot of you are probably going to buy into HTU. And we want you to. And we want you to. Um, we should be having an affiliate thing going on with that. So. Right. If you want to support us that way, you can support us using our affiliate link. That's but, why we tell you guys not to ask, like, to send us money and stuff. Well, if you. Right. If you really want to support us when we do affiliations with other people, just use our link to buy and we'll get a portion and you're directly supporting us. But the thing right. is, is all of that money that, that gets to us that way is going right back into what we're doing. Like our first launch, even if we make a couple hundred thousand dollars on that. I mm, doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. But the majority of that is going to go back into this. It's going to go into better editing equipment, better lighting. lighting, but yeah, better photography equipment. It's all going to be stuff that goes back into this. You're not going to see us driving around in like a brand new Mercedes or something like oh, that. Oh no, I like my Kia Soul. Yeah, like after a couple releases, we'll buy some stuff for us, but it's almost all going back into the course. Let's Would see. it be for like proper noobs on to Etsy then? Yes, as long as you're not a one of a kind or a vintage. So. Right. You know what? You could be making, you know, decent sales, but if you're not happy with the number of sales and you want to do better, or you know for a fact that your shop isn't where it you're needs to be. You'll definitely still learn something. Right. For you're, sure. It's still going to be extremely it, beneficial. And it's one of those things that like, obviously the first couple of sections are going to be for like the absolute noobs. But I tell you guys to skip those. Like, But she tells you to skip them. But the thing is, is that like, just like with music, for instance, going back to your rudiments is always the best way to improve your elite level skills. So if you're going back and looking at it through the eye, if you've had your Etsy shop for like five years, you're doing somewhat good, but you take the course, definitely take still goes, yeah, definitely still go through those sections because there might be a little thing that you're missing that's the difference between you making like a couple hundred sales now and then like a couple thousand sales, you know, in a month, you know, it could be a small thing that makes that difference. You never know. Right. And I mean, it's that's what I call golden nuggets. Um, you could read just want to branch into Etsy. Then take if if you've got the money and the time, and you want to move into Etsy, take the course. It, it, yeah. it won't hurt you. We don't need your money, so just do it if you want to. Right. Um, all right, guys. This has been a really weird chat. It has. We've, we've it has. had it's definitely been weird. What? But why not one of a kind or vintage? Because our here's the thing about one of a kind products. We have to make a separate course for those because you cannot you cannot generate successful SEO on Etsy with one of a kind products right. because Etsy runs with using based, clean tactics at least. Etsy runs their search algorithms based on repeat sales. Yes. When and you, Etsy getting even more complicated again with what we're getting into next week. Right. So but it's it's all about consistency and the amount of sales that you've made, how long you've been on Etsy, that kind of thing. And specifically the the listings, like our biggest listings, our Dragon Lover sets are still one of the biggest sellers that we have because they've been on there for freaking ever and they just sell and sell and sell. Right. And Sandy, I wouldn't want you to buy the course. I mean, if you want to take it for the branding aspects and yeah. things like that, you're more than welcome to, but you would have to go into it knowing that the whole part about product line trainings wouldn't be for you. So it, right. I would almost feel like it would be a disservice to you to sell you something that there would be a very large portion that you wouldn't be able to use. And most likely, not all, but most of the other courses that we take will probably be accessible. Once you buy one, you'll probably have access to most of them. Not all of them for sure, because some 
some of them are going to take like years to right. write. Some of them are going to be but like if, if you buy this one, you're going to get the extra stuff for the vintage once it comes out. You're going to get the stuff for one of a kinds once it Sandy comes out. Sandy said, so one of a kind person has no chance. No, that's no, why we're that's making a separate course saying. for it's you. A different, it's a different kind of tactic on Etsy that you have to use. Right. And where this one is specifically for the kind of sellers like us that launch collections that aren't one of a kind pieces. There's absolutely a chance for one of a kind sellers. Absolutely. But, I, mean, but I would have, of them. but I want to make a special course for them because the tactics are different. Right. That's tailored to you. That way you're not taking the information we're using and doing something wrong. Right. Yeah. We, we, we wouldn't, we wouldn't want to sell you something that isn't for you. If you want to take it, there's like she said, there's tons of stuff in there for you. Um, it's just not catered to you. Right. Exactly. Take it with a grain of salt. I have some one of a kinds that I use th those for trade shows. Yeah. We make some one of a kind pieces too. Yeah. We just don't make our whole shop one of a kind. If we release a one of a kind product, we have we, to use different kind of marketing tactics. Right. And we charge a lot more and we make an event out of that one of a kind product. We let people know in advance, you know, yeah. we're, we have a one of a kind product coming and people freak out over it. It's just, we can't run our entire right. business. Like with us, like you've seen our, our Facebook, our live sales, like we could probably do one of a kinds from now on and close the Etsy shop and live off of that. Right. But we don't do that, but right. most people don't start off with that giant following and you kind of already have to have a following to make Etsy like the king for you. Yeah. At least now you do. Now so. you do. Yeah. All right. Is that it? Well, I think that's about it. Okay. I'll have to remember that. Awesome. Yeah. Any yeah. more questions? We'll try to get to next week. We're not going to do the normal Q and a, obviously we're doing it with Anthony. So there won't be as many like open questions to us. Um, Go ahead, go ahead and, you know, get your questions ready for Anthony for next week. Just have maybe have an idea of what you want to ask. Good chance that most of you have the similar questions to each other. So hopefully it'll be nice, a nice breeze. Janet said, are you planning to do a Q&A about the course when you get closer to the launch date? Absolutely. Yes, we'll do Q&As, live streams. I want you guys. We'll probably affiliate with somebody. You guys know that I'm extremely transparent when it comes to my marketing, when it comes to how we run our business, when it comes to our lives. And our marketing for the course is very similar. You know, a lot of people are very secretive and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a great marketing tactic. In fact, I'm going to keep you, you know, teach you guys to kind of do that uh secretive marketing tactic you know within my course it, it generates a lot of momentum but at the same time uh it's not really my personal style i like being very transparent with you guys in particular um so i that's why i let you guys know that as we're working on it you know how far along we've come how much we yeah. have left how long it's going to be um we're nowhere near done and i when we get close to being done to the point where you guys, you know, might need to be clued in that you should start saving for it if it's something that you want to do. I mean, honestly, it's only going to be like two months away. So if you're going to be taking our course, I would probably start saving for it now. Yeah. Realistically, like it's not going to be that much longer. It might be three months. Right. But we're hoping estimated <clears throat> time frame is two to three months. So. Two, to, two to three months. That All could right. be extended out. Just be aware, just depending on technical limitations, things we have to pay for, something comes up. <clears throat> right. that might get moved up but for now two to three months yep that's the time frame all right guys this has been a lot of fun <laughs> thanks for everyone for tolerating us for tolerating the weird boobs Boobies. and there was it looked like some drug related searches and awkward trends on pinterest that popped up when we yeah. clicked on that <laughs> um i promise we don't do drugs or support anything weird i mean but I, I vape yeah, we do vape, but you know, we already know coffee and drink diet pop and do all kinds of terrible things. So thanks for everyone for tolerating us and our weirdness. This has been just strange. All right, guys. Oh, look at everybody. Everyone's so happy. Thanks for the information and have fun, coffee. guys. All right, we'll get our PO box <laughs> set up this week and we'll have information for that uh, later on. Anyway. Drugs are bad, I'm calling. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.